Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Friday, where it has been quite the day of acquisition. Happy Friday. I would say we got 90% of the way there. Um, it's really tough to get Malaysian ingredients in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is what we've learned. So, I went to a lot of grocery stores today. Ran into all the trains. To varying success. However... However, um, However, I was able to source uh, the anchovies required for the dish, but we also ordered them on Amazon. So now we have two big bags of anchovies. <laughs> so I hope we like them. Two big bags of dried anchovies. What are we going to do with them? Yeah, I got some really funky stuff. This is by far, and I will say this fairly, by far our most complicated recipe yet. Wait, did you see the video? I got the video for what I did the marinade yesterday. It's only a minute and a half, but I swear to God, it was like, just pull out the entire spice cabinet because it's all going in there. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> damn. It's true. Damn, damn, he damn. Did, he did get every spice out that we have. No, you didn't hear me. I said, give me all the spices you have. This one's a really tough one, though, because... I'm not the only person to try to replicate this dish in the States or somewhere else. Australia, Australia, the, the Australian video had the most uh, acquisition of ingredients easy. They're also the closest. To I was going to say they're a little closer to Malaysia than we are. But like uh, from Britain, somebody in somewhere in Europe and then uh, some people from the States and everybody's like, well, instead of this, use this. Instead of this, use this. So a lot of substitutions um, for lack of ingredient acquisition, but we'll give her a go. I think we got the, the we got the primary pieces that we need. Let's hope so. I would get a good like idea of what the flavor is. Yes. You know, like that's the whole goal, right? Uh, agreed. Yeah. It, it, and I, I think me, both me and Hermie are. We've read the ingredients. We've seen it made, and we're like, what's this gonna taste like? Yeah. Really? Um, like I don't have any clue of what this is gonna taste like. It's gonna be sweet and sour and spicy, right? I don't, I don't hate that. Right, but I like, like other things that are sweet and sour and spicy, but I feel like you can have a lot of variations in that. And so. I think this has every variation mm -hmm. in that. This is like a, just a different version of all those things. We'll see. Oh, it's all the things. The Nasi Lamak. Nasi, nasi Lamak. lamak. I, I'm a little proud of myself, not going to lie, chat, uh, because Hermie's like, what, how do you say that thing again? And I, I've, I've repeated it so many times in my head. I'm like, the Nasi Lamak, you know? He uh, did. He remembered. I, I remembered remember. that thing. So, well, there's dried anchovies. Anchovies, so yeah. I feel like those are, by default, pretty salty. Sweet and savory, but not like fruit savory. I'm not a big fan of fruit savory. Technically, coconut is, but... No, to, coconut's a nut. Coconut's a nut. Well, you're, so I keep telling Mini Rush. We're all nuts. <laughs> so, um, you guys, this might not surprise anybody, but uh, our son, who's 11... Grabbed the bag of peanuts off the table and brought it over. He's like, "These are my nuts." These are my nuts. I told him to put the nut sack down and get it off the kitchen table. <laughs> so uh, good to know that the senses of humor are permeating the next generation. We're in them kids, right? That's right. <laughs> that is right. All right. Do I keep trying to go for some magma blocks? To I don't think I'm going to start an Enderman farm tonight. Before we have to cook a super complicated dish. I think we're doing a slime farm. Hey, look, there's a mustache. But first, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a slime farm. I have to watch a video about it. I had no idea what to expect, Big Al. Like, obviously, I have no. I had no idea what to expect with the little boy. <laughs> so, you're right. Things I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Meanwhile, you may have noticed I didn't have too much to comment. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I was a young lad at one point. You weren't born a you weren't born a big grown man. I was I came out with a with a beard. <laughs> hey, ma. <laughs> That's fucking weird, dude. 
<laughs> that is a great mental image, though. Oh my god. Great mental image. Alright, we're gonna need some fellows, though, I think. <laughs> you like Raj's, uh, axe? If the axe Raj about his mustache? Ah, this one over here. A little mustachio oxen. <laughs> the oxen mustachio. I like it. It's like a little, it's like a little lumberjack brand. He's okay, okay? He's okay. He's okay. Alright, I need to get some <laughs> funnels to start here. And the brass variety. I need quite a few of these, actually, for this bit. Boop. <laughs> and then Mecca insisted on the mustache. I must insist on the mustache. Hey, look, we got more propagules, guys. All right. That's like a bonus. I yeah, I know. We're, we're a little low on the propagules, huh? We were for a second, yeah. Yeah. A little concerned about the propagule propagation. The propagule propagation was not prop propaguli enough. It didn't propagate uh, efficiently. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do... Is what? Oh, wouldn't you love to know? I would. I'm waiting to hear what the first thing we're going to do is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to blow. Blow. <laughs> it's like a cock for $1,000. <laughs> I was thinking it. Um, Brent can't watch her. He has to pay 100 <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a play <blood> check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of Mecca's next goals. That's good. Everybody needs goals, Mecca. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so we need to get some fans. Do we have any fans in chat? Only fans? Do we have any fans? I don't know, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, if we uh, even uh. have any fans. Oh, good God. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> oh, seven. Oh, God. So the direction here is going to be important. Um, is there any encased... Not blow, blow. <laughs> chain drive limitations. Does anybody know? In case chain drive, I will say I categorically have no fucking clue. Can relay rotation to each thing in a row. All shafts connected like this will rotate in the same direction. Okay. So far, this is this All is what shafts. we want. All shafts. All. Your top rate fan. I believe that. I believe that. You know what? I feel like this is gonna break. And that well, would be a lot. Will you ever know if you don't try though, Raj? It's not the right play. I could try. But squiddy. I think Squiddy. Oh, what up, Squiddy? Hello. I got stuck behind the train twice today. Did anybody see my Twitter? Fucking like fifteen minutes each too. I was a happy camper. <laughs> Yeah, you were right in the spot for that too, huh? Oh yeah, right there in, in Lemoyne. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I hope you guys are having fun with all the things. Um, Pickletopia, uh, not Pickletopia. The Builders Railway. My mistake. My mistake. Yeah, Builders Railway, bro. Yeah, I gotta, you gotta do it up. You gotta say it up right. I, I have to say it out loud a bunch of times so I don't forget it. Boy. Builders Railway. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Da, 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 da. Builders Railway. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, there's that stuff. <laughs> We're sane, everybody. We are absolutely sane. We are just as sane as it gets. Mm -mm. I don't think I don't think people like to watch like sane entertainers. No, they don't. That was not a crit. Magma cube hurts. Magma cube squishes. Fuck you. How am I gonna do this? Fucking rain. Oh, at least it's nighttime. Oh, fuck you. Maybe a. Uh... Ha! I got him. Got him. I already have returned to sender, though. That you speak of. Is that something I should be? Insane in the member. Somebody ordered the London Symphony Orchestra, possibly while high. Cypress Hill, I'm looking in your direction. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. We are the orchestra. And they're like, we'll take them. <laughs> Do you guys know Insane in the Membrane? We mostly know classical music. <laughs> but we could give it a shot.
Again, this seems pointless without a looting sword. We're gonna need both, Raj. We're gonna need the Enderman farm and the slime farm, so. Fair enough. <sighs> I'm just pondering some shoots here. Pondering? Pressing W? I'm pressing some W. Because this all feels pointless without a looting sword. Yeah. That's what, that was the plan. I just don't think I'm going to start that um, at the beginning of a stream in which we have to cook a complicated Malaysian dish later. The looting Enderman farm first. Yeah, that sounds like a good starting point. Yeah. Also, I have to watch. I have to watch a video for the slime farm. So I don't know if, if Raj is going to uh, be free. Fly away, Raji. Be free. Be free to help with the uh, slime farm. I can be. Cause you're busy. You're there's busy a, boy with all the trains. There's a possibility that I need a mental break for this. Cause this is gonna be. I, I, I'm kind of... Whoa, I'm sure it's a zombie. Um, You're going to need a mental break or it's going to cause a mental break? <laughs> yes. If you don't take the mental break, it will take you. Um, I guess I just mean like... I'm trying to decide if I want to do like seven different trains. It's a lot of freaking trains. Well, that's going to be a problem. Oh no. I fell off again. I fell off the jetway again. Yeah, it happens, what do you got? We're falling off so many builds that we just we, we need to we need to have multiple falling quotes. That's not flying, it's falling with style. There we go. Got a little toy story in there. Seven? Eight is enough. That's a very deep dish. Like a pizza? If it's mine, the one in the nether, it is pretty deep. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not a deep dish pizza person. Nor am I, actually. I'm thin crust all the way, baby. Achoo. Bless you. Thank you. All right, so I need to get that down to here somewhere. I'm thinking we could do an adjacent thing here, maybe. And then we'll do like a little loopy apparatus thing and then just do the big ass freaking something down here. A ditch, not a dish. I know, I read it right. I was just, you know, doing the whole word association thing. Right? Like the Brits do? We're in Barney. We're in Barney. Well, I feel like there's some bad boys down here. It probably is. There's some bad motherfuckers down in this swamp house. This hell swamp. God, I uh, think I might uh, have seen Fern Gully one time as a kid. Fern Gully, wow, yeah. that's a. Uh, I know, going, right? We're going way back now. Blast from the past, huh? We're going way, way back. I, I definitely don't remember it enough to like quote it. I remember enjoying it, yeah. I just don't. This is not a, like an up uh, lighting or something. Something. Tim Curry and Robin Williams in their prime. Hell yeah. All you have to do is say that. I know, right? And then I'm like, I'm in. What, yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever. It's animated. I, know, I remember that. I remember that Fern, Ferngully's animated. 
but like still those two, right? Oh, for real. For real. That and Spaceball. Cheech and Chong were in it. Weren't they in something we watched recently? Cheech and Chong? Yeah. Yes. Can't remember what it was, though. What was it? Was it? Uh, Clerks 3. Was it Clerks 3? I think it was Clerks 3. That actually makes total sense. Yes. I'm excited that Kevin Smith's going to be in the, the Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem show. I'm generally pretty excited about the Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem show. <laughs> it's going to be good. Are you a fan of Muppets? I love Muppets. <laughs> Muppets are great. Muppets. Tone Loke. Oh my god, you guys. We are like board up the Wayback Machine today. Right, right. We have a little nostalgia throwback. Wow, Tone Loke. I'll be your queen if you know what I mean. Do the, the wild thing. <laughs> All right, we have slightly more magma blocks now. Good. Not nearly enough for the farm, but... Not good. Not great, Bob. I can never click the right side of this block, you know? Yes. Yes, I do. And that one? No. How about I, this one? There we go. That's the one we want. Man. 80s and 90s music binge, all right. Well, all right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. I'm gonna need a couple gearboxes. All right, and then we go like this. Oh, all right, that dumb. looks good. And then we're gonna need another one here, but this one's gonna be of the vertical variety. Oh, yes, the vertical kind. All right, there's freestanding lava back there, so gotta be a little careful. What's wrong with your freestanding lava? Famous last words. What? There's freestanding lava back there? Better be careful. Yep. That is totally famous last words. I can agree to this. <laughs> You had Foreigner on earlier? Whoa. Foreigner. Foreigner, Foreigner, Foreigner. Oh, that's right. I was listening to the new Muse album. I'm like, I was listening to something earlier. New Muse album. You know what this needs? I know what this needs. More Muse? The perfect cheer. <gasps> Everything needs the perfect cheer. <laughs> Taco, burrito, what's coming out of that speedo? <laughs> you know what's funny? You guys said that. Like, I last night I, I popped on just a random YouTube video and it got into like this. Like, uh, what did they describe it as? It was like. You're driving alone, you're by yourself, and it's the 80s, or something like that. And it was just like, every 80s hit just came flying down oh the pipe. Oh my god. I was like, damn, all right, all right. My problem is I don't love all of them unequivocally. I completely agree with that. Like, I can understand the nostalgia, and I appreciate it, but I cannot stand the, the that Mr. Mr. song. Ugh, the motor. I actually hate that song. You hate that song. I do. Hate. Hate. Like, like. Yeah, like really do not like. Despise. Yeah. Do not like. Do not like. Like, change the station. Why did that do that? Why did you do that? What are you doing? How am I supposed to? Oh, that works actually. Okay. Ella, I feel like we share so many characteristics. Like, I've described my playlist as 
violently, uh, violently eclectic. <laughs> violently eclectic. Yep. Wow. Violently eclectic. Now that's uh. I think it describes. I think it describes like my 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 music that I listen to. I agree. I agree. Because I definitely have the fan by the opposite the opera soundtrack on. Oh no. I will say this though. I will also describe mine as that, but in a very different way. Yes. I well see yours. I feel like yours at least in general has the common characteristic of being good music in one way or another. That's there true. There is no guarantee of that with mine. I see. You already know this. Oh, I do. You already know this. I'm well aware. Like, mine is whatever tickles my poor little neurodivergent brain at the time. But, you know, aren't we all at heart just a little neurodivergent at times? I don't know. Huh? Huh? I'm told it's a spectrum. I don't know. Oh. Well. I can't. I have no way of diagnosing other people with it. Oh. <laughs> so no, I don't know. All right. Does that does that kind of fix that that sort of weird issue that we're having there? Let's take a look. Yeah, kind of. Uh. Oh, that's Mr. Mr. Shit. I don't like that song either, though. Tears for Fears. Oh, yeah. The like Clock of Siggles. You see, you do. There were definitely a couple songs in there that I forgot about, and I, for good reason. I can't, can't remember which ones they were, but like even like some of the big band names, like Tears for Fears, and uh, they have some B-sides that are horrible. Oh, well, I mean, I bet every band has some B-sides that are horrible. Yeah, no, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Tears for Fears, yeah. Shout, let it all out, and um, fucking Mad World. Well, Tears for Fears. you asked. Oh my god, can I get them to shoot this guy? What happened? To yes, yes. Spit on the skelly. Fight, fight. All right. We've gone from zero to spitting on the bones, and so, spit on the bone in less than an hour. Oh my god, they got him! Wait, Mr. Mr. take these broken wings. Oh, nice. But now they're fighting each other. Oh my oh, god, these llamas are dirty! Whoa! I'll let, them, I'll let them go at it. They're just expressing themselves. That is so sad. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what's, who sings the song that, that I didn't like then? I mean, I don't like that one either, the take these broken wings. Take! There's like certain 80s songs that just like like the sunglasses at night song makes me want to claw my eyes out. I hate that fucking song. And that's funny you say that. There's some things on your playlist that I feel the same way about. Oh, I guarantee you there's some things on my playlist that you hate. Alright, I will I will probably I'll probably turn a bunch of people off right now. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand Meatloaf. Oh I, I get that. Hate I hate Meatloaf. I understand. <laughs> Me love is not welcome in my house for the most part. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Whether it's the food or the dude. Sup, Quap? How you doing? Hey, Quap. <laughs> uh, I have like some oh. spruce, like. Night Ranger. Sister Christopher. I saw you saw my tweet today. Is that you, Quap, that I saw on Twitter? It was. It was some sort of quap, quap or quap related name. Spit on the skelly. <laughs> That's right, spit on the skelly. So. No. What? That's all I want. Yes, yes, dude, yes! What happened, what happened? You got run over by a train. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think spit on the skelly was the Ramones, wasn't it? Is that a song? No. You have we're low issues. We're, we're, we're just making it up. <laughs> that was the Ramones. Wait, what? Spit on the skelly. Skit on the skelly. Skit on, spit on the skelly with the llama spit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, honestly. Right, long, long story short, please stop that while music is on. That really, really, really doesn't sorry. do good things with my brain. 
sore. Ah, ah, actually, yeah, I'm not not good now. All right, reset. I have like auditorial sensory issues or something. I don't know. It's okay. All right, let's see if that kind of fixes this thing. That might do the trick, though. Yeah, 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 it looks a lot better. It looks like it's intentional. That's right. You stay there, Mr. Llama. Dude! Freaking, like... You just made the thing happen that we've been trying to make happen for a while, Raj. He got hit by that... Best thing he ever did to those kids, the old wobbly girls, got hit by that big old train. <laughs> wobbly gals. Wobbly gals. All right, it's time to do uh, some complex creation. It's a downright proper looking train, Raj. Thank you. Working on it. And it's like, I got this, uh, I don't know what you'd call this. It's like uh, oil derrick, right? I think they call it like that. But it's like the wooden one that they used to do. But this one's got access to must. You know what? It's creative. It's fine. It's good. It it's works. It's creative. Can you be a villain and tie the llama to the train tracks? I don't think it works like a post. That would be amazing. I really though. wanted to. I feel like if you could do that, I would have done that already. Oh, I heard a train. But is it a Kaisha train? Did the, uh, did the solicitor go riding on that long black train? Uh, yes, he did. It's he a was, euphemism for death. He was a uh, shuffled loose our mortal coil. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do, the for the first time in our playthrough, I'm going to do the, the little speed bitty thingy. This guy, the rotation speed controller. Bam, we should have enough for that stuff. Beautiful. And then I need a big gear cog of a large variety. Cog, you say? A cog, I say. A cog. And then I need to do... That needs to be in a rotational point with the thing that comes down through that. You can usually pump water as well, Raj. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it could be like a water thing. I would feel better about an oil derrick not being made out of wood, personally. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, like, someone said they need a big gear. At least a <laughs> random one. Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, yeah, okay. Good, here he is. Whatever, whatever size shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right, I'm trying to remember how this works exactly. So, we put the... So, I, I know how it works. But I we put a big gear on the top. But do we... Does the big gear create the rotation that we want for later, or does the big gear the one we put the gear into? You know, y'all know what I'm saying. That that made sense in my head. I think made sense in nobody else's though. I get it. I know. I know. There's Raj. There's Raj the logic, and then there's normal logic for everybody else. Logic. There's Raj.ic Uh, they don't fit on small gears, right? The, this one needs a big gear on the top. But I'm trying to remember, I think you put it in the side. Let's start with step one. So we need to do... Hmm. Like I need a rotational force like this. And I'm gonna assume big gear is where it comes out. For now. And then I need to have... Um, actually I want that to go down one more. some magma blocks, but they're all right above the lava, which is probably where they tend to exist. Yeah. But I don't want to really mine them out because we're all going to drop in the lava. And that's not going to be very helpful at all, is it? Hmm. You know what I should do? I know what I should do. I thought I heard pickles. What should you do? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I think I can just do this. I just go... Gearbox... Gearbox. Uh, there it is. No, no, there's not. There, there it is. So I wanted it. What are you doing? What's going on? I was trying to coast into the uh, slime and crit him. The answer was no. <laughs> Engineers hate him. That's what I just unlocked. Apparently. What? Engineers hate him. You just got a you just got an achievement? I did, I did. 
Oh, it didn't show up on mine. I like it when it, when I see it. Your achievements. Can I do that? Oh my god, I can't. I like to see your achievements, Raj. And there are many. Cake. Cake the band or cake the cake? Cake the band or cake the dessert? Ooh, there's a thing. Yeah, I know. Food cake? You can do that backwards too, rotation into the gear and the sides will output the higher rotation. Wait, you're saying that I can do, I can put the, the, the power under this one? Whatever. What about cake? Food cake? We're talking cake now, honey? I, I didn't start the cake. You didn't start the cake? It, was, it was always, always bacon. <laughs> it was always bacon ever since we had bacon. Since my loin's been aching. Oh! Oh, got it. Oh. Oh! Raj with the Raj weird out it. Fuck it. That's right, Mr. Lebowski. That's right. You're getting how this works now, Hermes. Fuck it. This is gonna be super fun. Uh, before I get this whole thing built, we're just gonna be. We just, it's like it's like a blow train. Join the blow train, b b blow train. Um. So. So Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So when's this all happening? <laughs> I tell you what. Okay. Here he comes. Here's pickles. We just gotta, we just gotta give him a little, just a little, little uh, coax in here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> do I twirl my mustache before I do this? Perhaps. Jesus Christ. I made a really, really effective bag of slime spawner, though. I really. Your did. days are numbered. <laughs> go get it, pickles. Yes, there he goes. <laughs> the lava's was like stuck on the front. If, that was he, amazing. if he shows back at home. <laughs> With like a, he's like with the, with the llama on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's. Uh, that seems uh, okay. That's what I was thinking of too. I was thinking the the blow train is a. Uh, it's like drugs. Drugs. It's like drugs. Drugs. It's like drugs. I have drug. <laughs> Rocket fuel only on race days. Only on rice days. Only on rice days. Rice days. A. Rice days, a. Yeah. Rice days, a. Wait, you can't tell me we don't have any fucking planks, dude. Are you serious right now? No, they're all logs. <laughs> there are like thirty-three million of them. Oh, dimension, dude. Look out! There are llamas <laughs> named Lloyd. Lloyd the Llama. Lloyd the Llama. You, you almost have to name a, a Llama Lloyd, don't you? I say yes. It's the yes, first yeah, rule yeah. in the book. You know the book? The unwritten rules of the road. I live my life by the book. Uh, I guess I gotta. No more hairy bush stones. <laughs> Wee! Can we have less of just drony synths? I'll be doing some work this weekend, chat. Oh! Video oh. card ordered! By the way, Yay. should be here tomorrow. Should oh, be here tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's uh, quick. Fucking quick. Is it supposed to rain tomorrow? Oh, uh, I have no idea. Right now, it's seven, It's 75 degrees and mostly cloud. It's 75 degrees out, by the way. Yeah, we can... I, I know it's supposed to rain soon because... Uh, uh, 30, 60, 12 gig. 30, 60, 12 gig, overclock. 30, 60. I would like to get down to uh, the netherite level. And I was hoping to find some magma blocks and also maybe mine for some netherite. Okay, so That's here's- a good idea, right? I, it sounds like a grand idea. All right, so here is the going forward plan. I'm gonna tell you this to be full disclosure of how things are gonna go down. So, the card that we're ordering today is the intention for it to eventually make its way to be the Streaming Rigs card, all right? For the big, biggest bang for the buck that we have right now, the plan is that card's going in my gaming rig. The 10 the 1660 Ti is going to Hermes. Yay, I'm gonna have a better, better card, I'm so excited. Then the next step up is we're gonna upgrade Hermes PC for um, RAM, uh, motherboard, processor. motherboard, processor in case 
and then from that point, then we upgrade uh, our gaming rig video cards, and that 3060 then goes to the streaming rig. So it's going to take a long time because that's yeah. like a lot of money. But we're trying to like I'm trying to do it do it the smartest, smartest way, yeah. yeah, smartest way possible. We've consulted with computer oh, friends. God. Where'd you come from? I've always been right here. What Y level is this at? Well, match. All right. Cheers. Nice. I'll be excited. I can play Diablo 4 probably. 1660 is a great card, honestly. Um, the only lacking point that I can see on it is like RTX. That's it. AB1 is on the way. I was going to go AB1. Price, price to point, I, I can't deny that that's a very, very good price to performance thing. Um, but I'm a, what's, what does, what's that site called that where you watch people play video games and you uh, donate to them and give them um, subs? Is it, is it uh, Kick? Kick? Was it I Kick? I think it's Kick. Yeah. Uh, I I'm, think one of those, I'm one of those people. And so I need to do uh, things called encoders. And again. Oh, okay. With Kick, the, Kick streamers, that sounds important. It, it is, it is. What's... Um, you need this when, you, when you're on the Twitch servers, you see. Oh, okay. That they're being, you know. But uh, AV1 is going to be down the road, yes. But for right now, uh, the the old uh, Twitch servers don't accept the AV1 encoding stuff. So we got to do what we got to do with the N-Bank and the X264. So uh, that's what's up. If we can dig down here, I just don't know. Mixer. Yeah, that's the one. That's the Everything one. seems to be very... Like a lava lake ish in our nether. Like, I can't f seem to find a good uh, yeah, spot. Yeah, it is the nether. It is the nether. Uh, Thank you. It's the nether, Hermie. Um, it's the nether, Hermie. I just want a place to dig for some netherite and some magma blocks at the same time. Like, is that too much to ask, really, though? Yeah. Apparently, it is. Yeah, that's what I'll say. That's why I said, yeah. Mixer too soon? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I did see a config that you could actually extend <laughs> these as far as the eye can see. What are these? Um, like, I can make a belt go all <laughs> the way here. You can, like, config it to do it. I was like, what? All right, now it's time to find out if we're blowing the right way or the wrong way. Not blow. Blow. You never know. It could turn on tomorrow. Oh, no, Tormona. I know. I've been on Twitch for a decade and dealing with Twitch for a decade. Oh no! This is not a high priority, friend. I think that's sucking, not blowing. And if it does turn on tomorrow, we will deal with it accordingly. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we'll be and we'll do just fine. I'm an out of my cage, and I've been doing just fine. Did you just reference the Killers? That the most popular, my favorite Christian band. Honey. Most popular Christian band. Yep, I was just gonna say it. Damn it. <laughs> Aren't they Schmormen? Oh, I don't know if they're Schmormen. I think they're Schmormen. Schmormen? Schmormen. Uh oh. Yeah, it's probably like a 25, 26 thing. Um, planning on it in the future, um, for sure, for sure. But uh, for the moment, for the now. For the now, we're trying to we're just trying to do uh, the the best we can in the smartest way possible, right? Yep. It, Full disclosure, though, if you are just gaming, I think you're going to be doing great with an AB1. All right, so the cool thing about this thing, in case you guys haven't played with the old uh, rotation. You know what Raj has been through? About, in regards to what? I've been through quite a bit. Right, <laughs> I love this dimension, dude. I heard a noise from the kitchen. I'm pretty sure it was the ice cream. I'm going to eat it just to be safe. <laughs> I like that this. Is, I, this is great logic. That is Hermie's, that's very yep. Hermie energy. That, it is. It is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the ice cream is making noise. I've got to eat it just to be safe. All right, now it's blowing. You can see it. Ah! Holy shit. Eh? You're, you doing all right Safety third. Yeah. That is no joke. Holy shit. 
Well then. First try, I did it. Guys, I did it. Safety third. Safety third, everybody. Safety third. Oh, Osho Hermie does not agree with you. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. We're not, just not going to go that way, then. I'll say it again. I feel like Osho Hermie says things, but doesn't do them in practice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sure, Hermie doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Oh, sure, Hermie's just trying not to kill you, bud. <laughs> nice. Easy. Gravel. Easy does it Easy. there. Easy. Actually, I don't think I'll do that last one. But anyway. Time to get built. Elytra themed theme park? That could be kind of fun, actually. I've, been, I've always thought about doing like an Elytra course, like in a world somewhere. I know that there are, they exist at other places. Are you serious? Get on the fucking belt. Ooh! Is this our first one? No, second one. I already killed one today. No, Raj. Look. Oh, the netherite. Ooh, cinnamon buns! Cinnamon buns! My Hidden first one. In the depths. It would be my first one, too. It's my first time, Army. I think that's been reached and breached quite some time ago. <laughs> Army, nice buns. Thanks. I do have nice buns. I do yoga for them regularly. They're actually very sore today. <laughs> Speaking of actually, buns, my buns are sore. Thanks. My buns are very sore. No, it's a, it's on the it's on the route to making them nice, right? And nice and strong, strong mm. buns. I like a good strong derriere. It helps it helps me walk upstairs. Strong derriere helps you walk up the stairs. We have a nether rack like barrel, right? I have no idea. Okay. I know that's like my job. So I should be checking it. You know, that sounds like a, your, a, a, a like you your problem. Bug <laughs> it sounds like a you problem. Oh, hey. shit. You know what isn't my problem? What's Find that? Find another ape. Bam. Find some more? Got muds in yeah, I found another one. You just down in the depths digging down there? What's going on? Well, yeah, I was looking for a, a, a Y12 that wasn't, um, that wasn't completely... Lava drowned, so I was trying to dig for magma blocks and netherite at the same time. Thereby winning. Yeah. Strong like dairy air. Wow. We do live in Pennsylvania. I guess that's not fair. Haha. -ha. I guess that is fair. That I guess that's fair. I say it's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. It is not, fair. It is fair. I mean, it's a thing that is happening, right? I said, get on the fucking belt, dude. Dude. Mm, you think you're going to get away with this? Do ya? Oh, wow. Did anybody get the Vampire Survivors uh, DLC? I did. Somebody gave it to me. It was awesome. Somebody did. Oh, well, we're just up a... One more time, chat. Can you, like, stay here? No fucking way. Hire me up a hairy wizard. You are? How hairy? The hairiest. We're talking <laughs> Hagrid levels. Furry, furry wizards. That's fucking wild, dude. Hagrid was the magical groundskeeper. If I remember correctly. Fucking hell, your pinky keeps locking up. No! Oh, God. Us crazy pinky A bastards. Attention, Raj. Someone wants to hear a dad joke. Ziggy? Tell me a joke. What makes ghosts grumpy? The rain. It really dampens their spirits. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
So that's a thing that just happened. Yeah, that is a thing that that's just happened. That's a thing that we just allow to exist in the world. Cool, cool. Very cool. This is uh, an interesting development. What is that? What's that? What? What is? What? Hermy, I'm like, I'm a fucking wizard, dude. Oh, you're suspended? Did you make an upwards, an upwards fan? I told you it's blow row. <laughs> I didn't know how literal we were being now <laughs> down here. Did, did it's I? blow I, row. Blow. Not blow. Blow. <gasps> yes. Come here. Come here. Just a little thing for you there. I just gotta. Yes! Hey! Hey! I found my new favorite way to kill him. <laughs> what got what got him, Raj? Oh uh, too strong a blow. It blew too much. It blew too much. It blew too much. Yeah, what's up, Gibby? How you doing? Gibby. Let's drink a bunch together and make an invisible skywalk. You totally could, actually. Would we call you Skywalker? I would. I would call you Skywalker. I wonder what happens if I... There is another Skywalker. Can I go hang with the llamas? Hey, guys. <laughs> they lived. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, guys. Too much. Oh my god, fun. this would be a great like elytra launch though. Actually. Oh, there you go. No right. more failure to launch. How dare they survive that fall? I know, right? The audacity of these fucking llamas, man. I know they're annoyingly hard to kill, right? What happens if I... Okay, if I'm flying the light chair, it looks like I can just go right through it, but... I was wondering if we gave me like a little, you know, like a, an updraft. Yeah. Oh, blind. Ideally, right? It would be a fun trap if we could disguise them, yes. What happens if you shoot an arrow into it? Let's find out. Probably just sticks, though, because... I think it needs to be, like, in the world, not a projectile. But we can try. I don't even have a bow. <laughs> what? Well, I have a torch bow. Behind you. Ah! Motherfucker, behind you. What's going on here? Behind you. Yeah, it just sits there. Oh no, it does work. Ah, danger, <laughs> danger, danger. It is, it is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> danger. You are a wizard, Rush. I chanted this arrow. I didn't know what was going to happen. Danger, danger. High voltage. When we touch, when we kiss. Did we just make it? A, we just made a new layer of infinity, did we? Pretty sure. I shot it again, so I can do. It. So how did I do that? It was like this, right? And I shot into it. I just chilling up there. Are right, you get your butt in there? Get in there! <laughs> He's like, I don't want. I didn't want to ride on the cart. Get on the llama. You're being a bitch.
There is definitely an infinite arrow up there. And there. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I don't think it's hitting anything, though. Let's see if I take damage on it. I'm going to go with yes. You will take damage on it. Nope. No? Oh, yes. Never mind. <laughs> you just have to hit it right. My guess was correct. I took it in the foot. I got shot in the knee. Hey, Summer Summer. Brush used to be an adventure and totally took arrow to the knee. Ah, oh, shit. Ow! No, was, that was meant for the llama, damn it. <laughs> Did we lose one of the llamas, finally? Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> there she goes. All right. All right, we got an arrow up there. Just have 100 arrows up there. Oh, my God. It would be such a horrible trap. Oh, my God. That is a horrible trap. I think they're, I think they're still considered entities, so they'd probably be, like... Super laggy if you had too many of them. I think, like, five minutes and you'd be out. One of these days, I'm going to find a, find a way up that's not full of lava. All right, that doesn't exist as a block. The limit does not exist. Go... Take the arrow to your, to your... Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. He took one arrow. It would be an interesting bee trap. Yeah. What's up? What's up? That's pretty fucking cool, though. All right. Should we actually do some stuff today? Got him. What? Eventually. Who's doing what today? Okie dokie. Now we gotta do this. Oh, uh, boop boop. Shoots. Oh, shoot. This is finally when it's gonna happen, guys. This is when it's gonna happen. I'm finally gonna get to the point where we're gonna die falling off a build. And this is the build that's gonna happen in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up getting. You're, you're making it happen. You're, you're speaking it into existence, Raj. I know I am in a bit. I know I am to, to a degree. You're manifesting degree. your own death is what's happening. Is that the manifest destiny if I do that? Yeah, but less colonization. Oh. I don't want to colonize. No, I know. That's why it's not manifest destiny. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, I have a feeling that I'm just going to I'm gonna end up going up in the air. I know I haven't died recently. Chance cubes has got me more than anything else. <laughs> Chance cubes will get you. Now that I think about it, if I had a natural death in this pack... If I died from anything besides chance cubes, like a natural death, I can't think of a thing we did. Skelly, in the, is it like in the very beginning? Or actually, that wasn't too long ago. You're right, I did die to a Skelly. I have like a couple deaths in this pack. Oh, the one in the train, that's right. I was riding the train around and the Skelly shot me. Oh, that's that's yeah, right, yeah, you, yeah. You did do that. Yeah. Did anyone see the chainsaw man kiss? What? What? Wait. Wait. Whoa, what? Hey. What? What's happening now? I think that's the uh, bootleg version. Wink, wink of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I don't think I want to watch that. The Chainsaw Man. Y'all ready to do some kissing? <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking that we do this, right? So I need to put shoots on the way up. But I need like, how do we get the items from here to there? Can I just like do this? Does this work? Yeah. Is that what we want to do though? That changes one? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, then maybe we do this. We go. Shoot. I'll shoot. Can I build with the fans on? 
I think you have to have a receiving shoot funnel to be able to move it into the inventory. Yeah, that's what I, I, we're gonna test it right now. Oh my god, this is gonna be impossible to do, isn't it? No attached fans, items move downward. So it literally has to have a fan attached, attached. I guess that kind of makes sense. So we'll have to get this like, some rotation stuff happening here. I just want one spot so I can make a- What Whoa! is that? Quap! Quap, was that Dude, how many? Thank you so much. 20. Five gifted subs. Oh, oh, you know what that means, Raj? Whoa. Dear God, they got chance cubes to do. We got chance cubes to do. Oh, that's I, a freaking amazing Bob, thing right thank there. Thank you so much. That's so appreciated. That is incredible. We we hit the sub goal on a cooking stream Friday. Yay! Was that? It was all the blowing, wasn't it? It, it was, was. It, it was, was the, the blowing. blowing. It was the blowing. Yeah. Definitely the blowing. No, we didn't hit it Monday, Shida. Thank you, though. But thank you very much for the support. We do really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I need to find a way back. Literally a way out. <laughs> like I went, I went such a convoluted way to get here. Uh oh. Hermione needs to find her way back so we can do some chance cubes. But thank you very, very much, Quap. Can we get some claps in the chat? And thank you, Ella, for playing a little bit of a tune. That is like, yeah, buddy. We a appreciate that support. Massively. Monty Python too. Hello, Monty Python. Monty Python. Monty Python. Oh, close, close. What's up, Strawberry Pop Tart? How you doing? Hello, hello. I mean, should I wait for you or? Yes. I I'm gonna grab three. Okay. One, two, three. That one, means two, you three. get two. Thank you. I know we screwed one up yesterday, but generally I'm alright with math. Hey, you know, hey, math or whatever. Math or whatever. All right, I am just gonna little make a little waypoint here for myself. It says, you are here. Yeah. Um, down to Y twelve here. But I'm gonna have to make one that's closer to the portal. You know what I'm saying? For a roll. I know. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So I have to find my way back to the portal. Is the is the the thick of it. Well, I want to, you know, I want to, you know. Uh, I know. You don't want to wait for me, I know. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Just digging out in the nether? What's going on, huh? Yeah. Hey, just guys, digging look out in the rainbow. Nether. Out Multiple nether. rainbows. And you say hi, strawberry? Hi, strawberry. Right. Strawberry. Strawberry pop tarts. I don't, why, we always have to say that, don't we? we strawberry. I know. Strawberry. I don't know why. Strawberry. We just have to say it. It's just how it is. Is it just? It, there's a chance cube here. There's a floating chance cube here. Oh well. I think I tried to put it in the lava because. Well, um, you missed. Yeah, well, <laughs> shit happens. Good, finally cool again. AC unit win, and we had to replace the whole thing. Whoa! Forty-one hundred dollars. That Jeez. is really Ugh. unfortunate. The whole house one. That sounds like a central area unit. Hermie, uh, I'm hey. trying. I'm trying to find my way back, Raj. Okay. If you need to, I guess if you need to go without me, just go. I'm gonna start my cubes. That's how you are. Just yeah, it's fine. Just go. I'm gonna start my cubes. It's fine. it's fine. Just go. Where'd you want to go? Ow! I have some arrows now. Do you? Oh, you Hi, got that big one. Boy. You karma. Got that one. Karma for what? What karma did I deserve that for? <laughs> oh, for the llama. Okay, I get it. Yeah. There. Ah, shit. For the llama. Hey, for the carpet's the gone. Llama. For not waiting? Do we not? Not wait. A... Are you serious? All right, look. Fine. 
Do we not have a way home? We're waiting for the last one. Chat said I got karma because of that. Mm, so I'm so waiting for you. Wait, you should have waited for me. Mm. Here we are. I'm just working my way back to you, babe. Yeah. Buy carpet. Trying to. We're trying to buy some carpet. <laughs> <laughs> some of the wool I think I'll keep, though. Three arrows! We have pretty cheap arrows from our stick bro. We do. Alright. That seems uh, good enough-ish. Rubble by a man, rubble by a man. I thought you meant karma for like hitting the uh, the larmers. Uno, dos. I have my moments of positive and negative luck as we all do as humans. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. is a well known luck charm. It's foolish to have her without him. Uh, not at all <laughs> when it comes down to chance cubes. In fact, actually, with chance cubes, it's been real bad lately. <laughs> Precisely the opposite, I might add. Raj, I'm here! Yay! Are you are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I thought I was safer, because Herms wasn't here. You might be. Alright. My last O one. Did you blow up did, did these get blown up or did you chop them up? Uh a little bit of column A. Okay. Fuck. With plenty of string. Fuck! No, not cascading dongs. Oh shit. Oh, even more fuck. Hey, go ahead, Herbs. Don't wait for me. Don't wait for me. I gotta take pickles. Oh wait, pickles is here. Hurry. What? Me hurry or you hurry? I'm I'm going I'm not doing another chance cube while I'm poisoned. No me. You hurry. Pickles! Wait! We, we gotta get rid of that spawn. Is there a spawner in there? Alright, wait. Woo! Raj, is there a spawner in there? No. Are you sure? No. No. <laughs> we gotta get rid of it. I feel like there may be a sweep. I may have spawned on top of a jungle sapling. <laughs> That might be my karma right there. Okay. You got me, Quap. You got me. Cascading Dongs was was the name. Okay, you don't want me to wait for you. <laughs> See, you shouldn't have waited for Ermy. I know, See? right? See? Okay, well, let's all remember that for next time. <laughs> Go ahead, Is there Ernst. any more poison spiders before I open this? Okay, just checking. I don't want to blow up your graves, so. Over here. Three, two, one. Um, this one. You walk away to live another day. Woo! Thank God for it, that. It left the button. <laughs> okay, so our luck is 50 50 so far. 50 50. All right, three, two, one. Ready. Oh no, nothing happened. Oh, you hate, you, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. It's just the sound, right? I don't know. Was it a hissing creeper? Yeah. I think it's just the sound, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, not that we couldn't have used it to blow up some of our string. I mean, we got a couple of things. Yeah, we got a little string over here. I uncovered your grave, though. Thanks. I just wanted to see if there was a spawner in there, too, but I don't think there is. We got string over here. We got string over here. We got carpet. We have all the rainbows. Pickles brought me back home, Harmy. Yay! It was like the most advantageous luck ever. Like, I walked right into... The train was already like there? Like, the train at the station. I did have to, like, run a little bit, like the crazy guy. Like, I gotta make the train! You know? <laughs> you were... <laughs> but, you know, it's... Like... Great job, Pickles. I, cascading Dongs. The fact that the spiders were called Cascading Dongs. They were called Cascading Dongs. Yeah, and, was, um... Wait, I, I think that's the most. I, I find those emotes most appropriate, Shyanda. Cascading dongs. <laughs> keep those, keep 
Keep those hot dogs swinging. <laughs> I'm pretty good. You just, you just change your... See, that's what you got. Bad karma. Didn't wait for Hermie. Okay, you should have waited for Hermie. You <laughs> <laughs> Definitely shouldn't have waited for Hermie that time. Yeah. All right, I'm coming back. Jeez, right. that's a that's a nice... Huh, that's a multi-faceted hot dog you got there, Strawberry. Wow. There are multiple parts to that guy. For yeah, sure. That's true. Hey, hey, Sika, what up, dude? Hey, Sika. Quap killed me. He did. I'm hurt personally about it. <laughs> I'm having a little mental trouble with the fact that Quap killed me. <laughs> you just be careful with the, the lava and the string. Wait, I want to kill you. For what? What I do? You mean with chance cubes or with kindness? That's true. That's a good question. Kill him with chance cubes or kill him with kindness? A mega dog? Mega dog? This is a mega dog. Why did you get some carpet? I did. I mean, you cleared my grave. <laughs> this doesn't look very clear. I, there's, a, there's a little, there's a little pathway to your grave right there. What is this thing? If you hold it, if you're close pretty. enough, it'll yeah, your grave. Yeah. See, you got it. Alrighty, we'll have all the things. Red bed redemption. Rogerson was slain by cascading dongs. Maybe the what? maybe maybe the karma was ah. uh, maybe the karma was uh, running trains on a bunch of others. Oh, you know what? And That's then you were fair. slain by cascading dongs. You okay, see? I see. That's but I feel like people were all about the trains. Oh, we're all about the trains. Are we still doing VIP for top get the subs? Yes, we are. Uh, right now, El Brandino is top. Quap Buy has an opportunity. Yeah, top gets the subs for the week. Do get VIP in the channel. Um, we've had a few repeats, but yeah, that is still an offer on the table while supplies last. Because we don't know how many people we can make VIP. Nope. I could probably find out, but then there's the whole lazy factor. So. Yeah. Also, you know, it's kind of random. We don't know. True. Cascading like karma little dongs. Little Cascading karma dongs. Listen, uh, you gotta watch out. You're gonna get the karma dong. It sounds it sounds like something, yeah. It sounds like something. <laughs> it sounds like a new emote idea. <laughs> a karma dong. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Karma dong. Karma dong. Karma dong. Karma like dong. Is it a penis shaped, uh, like a vehicle? I think we could uh, leave it up to some interpretation. Yeah. Hello, Captain Mustachio. Karma dong like Shaka Kong. Karma dong. All right, how are we going to do this? So we need to have it go into the thing. I guess we don't need the buffer now. Right? Right. So right. what we can do is we can take this out. What? Quap with subs. five more gifted subs? Five more gifted subs is what I heard. Oh, shit. And sub themselves. Thank you for the resub. <laughs> Thanks, Quap. So that's that's six. Uh, that's three each. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I just got back. <laughs> That'll teach you. Yeah. All right. Well. Your timing is very good, though, because you literally, this is the last second for Chance Cubes. We appreciate the support. And any further support uh, that, that happens tonight, but we, are, we do have to switch the cooking stream pretty soon. Blake! Oh, man. Multiple All right, well, we're going we to do this. That's that, that's 10. Dude, you have Thank completely you, Blake, dodged them all, Strawberry. I, I'm actually shocked. You sub-dodger. I feel like that's an era macro oh, levels of sub dodging. Yo, hello. What's hey, going on? Ella, Starting thank, to hype you train. The, thank you for the hype train bits. Um, I think Twitch has been a lot better for like people that are in the stream following and all that kind of stuff. It tends to give the gifted subs more to them. Oh, oh and get that sniped. was really nice. Get sniped. 
get sniped. And that's 11. Uh, 11, 11 chance cubes. And you're right. I should touch a bed back home before we do this again. I just did the same thing. Thank you for reminding. Point. No campers in this map. <laughs> All right, I'll take six. Six, then I get five. Five. Got it. Because math. Because math. Okay. Guys, thank you so much. This is amazing for the support. Really appreciate that. What, what is it, five? 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 Five for you. You want to see chance cubes in the kitchen? Well, you're going to. This recipe oh, is chance actually, cubes. Actually, I was going to say that this recipe is kind of chance cubes. We have not made this before. So who knows? Plus, I, we have to pour tea from really high. Tonight, Wheel Playcast spills the tea. We have tea? Yeah. Nasi Lamak. All right, Dimension Dude. You're going to miss the Nasi Lamak. Oh, you are going to miss it. But I understand. All right. I think I'm going to go on the other side of the rainbows now. Okay. What do you think? Fine. Fine? Wait, Rebel. You are encroaching pickles, though. I know. I do realize it's that. Fine, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. We're just going to go right here. Three, two, one. Saplings. I don't need them. I'll give them all to Raj. Does that one have... No, it's three. It doesn't yeah, have yeah. any propagules. It'll be on a VOD, though, Dimension Dude, if you want to see it. All right. 3.30 a.m. is very early. Yes, it is. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, you have to go to that coordinate. Quick. What? Where is it? I'm going to die. 398-64-1137. Do I die? Pickles. I don't know. I have no idea what happens. I'll be honest. That's just a chest, not a death one. Oh. Oh, then come on back then. Do, do the cubes then. With, oh. The coordinates are there. Chat, remember that. Third, 398. They're in, they're in my chat. Yeah. 398 64 1137. Oh, it's X. He does it weird anyway. He does X, Z, Y. Or X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Sorry. Yeah. He does it the, the way I don't think about it. I think about it as X, Z, Y. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chat's cool. Nice. I'm gonna dump this off before I do more, but I won't. Let's go. You made it rain. No. Can't rain all the time. Pickles, be careful. It's happening again. We don't want a little brown pickles. <laughs> you got some water. Get out of there. That. Thank you. That started. Oh, <laughs> that was a. I burned my one, ass. One second. One second. That startled the shit out of me. I was like, oh, God, no. All right, I got one more. Now that it's raining and everything's lava and all that kinds of good stuff. Is, oh it, is it a real diamond? You didn't see anything. It was in the lava anyway, turkey. That turkey, I tell you what. He's a turkey. All right, my turn, my all turn. Right. That was all yours, right? That was all of mine. I didn't get a get more chance cubes chance cube that time. Which uh, is? Pickles is unprotected. <laughs> ah. Witches get stitches. <laughs> ah. ah, fuck you. No, no. Shield. Or fly away. Oh, it was a troll one anyway. It was a troll one. Ooh, actually kind of did okay on that one, to be honest. Good job. All right. Fish. Nemo. Psh. No, no, no. Nope, nope, They're nope. Fa They're <laughs> false. We know this one. Nope. Those are false. Heads or tails? Tails. I was tails. You were correct. What did I get? Ooh. Not dying? A, a smooth ringed quartz block. Yay. Thank God. I win. That was Is it. Is that all of them? That was it. That was a heck of a round of chance cubes. That was. Thank you guys. Uh, Blake J, uh, Quap, Ella. Thank you guys for uh, starting Hype Train. Absolutely. And there is the success. And that brings us to the next point of you get to finally see my ugly face um, what? in the form of a video. Because you what got to see. ugly face? You don't want ugly face. Stop it. For tomorrow. Don't talk about my man like that. <laughs> 
is a weird third person thing. Um, but that's up for the Minecraft. It's time for video. Time for video. No, XYZ. Is it? It's because of the way I look down at the map. And I know I'm not, I'm not the only one who does that. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, But since y, y is straight up, and if you do, like, graphs, when you're doing graphs in, like, math class, Y is straight up. But since, from looking down at the map, it's just the way that happens. I indeed. All right, guys, get a little hypes. A little hypes? Little hypes. It's time a little for... Little hypes. I don't have any... I don't think I put any music on it. Can we see the chest now? Uh, we have to get to the cooking stream now. <gasps> True. We're over time. All right, so here we go, guys. The video of yesterday's prepping for the Nazi Lamak. Here we go. Welcome to 24 hours before the cooking stream, where we're going to be getting ready for our marinade for our chicken, which is, I found out, is called AM Goreng. I am saying that horribly wrong. AM, whatever that is. But so this uh, is yesterday. This is the marinade that we need to marinate for 24 hours. So... Okay, and this is basically get every spice out of your... <laughs> Watch this. I think it uses a little bit of everything, not going to lie. For our spices, we are doing two teaspoons of coriander seeds, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of fennel seeds. In we go. Next up is three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons... Well, a tablespoon of ginger, and it says uh, ga galangal, but we don't have that, so we're substituting in ginger. Uh, one shallot lime zest to substitute in this citrus. It says one lemongrass. Now, the only thing we could find was lemongrass paste. Couldn't find the lipograss. So yeah. we're going to roll with that. Equivalent of maybe one lemongrass. So... Ew. That? Lemongrass sure. paste. No, one and a quarter teaspoons of curry powder. Curry powder. There we go. This... One teaspoon of turmeric. Is four. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of chili powder. Dude. We're using cayenne for chili powder. All right, two teaspoons of brown sugar, and then seven tablespoons of coconut milk. Good God. Okay. They, wait, seven they actually tablespoons. told you seven One, tablespoons? Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That seems to be all the things that go into it. Looks like the right color to me. Pouring that over our chicken, and we're gonna let that sit for 24 hours. In the, we're gonna put our chicken in the marinade, and let that marinate for 24 hours for tomorrow night for when we fry it up. So it should be good to go. Cool. That was yesterday's prep, everybody. Chicken went in, and now we are gonna take a quick little break. It smells amazing. It smells like super flavorful. Yeah, it does smell good. Um, I mean, it has every spice in the cabinet in it, so. <laughs> Just a palette. It was four pages. Step one, get out all your spices. I think it's seven tablespoons of coconut milk is such an awkward measurement. I don't know. Like a, I, that's It's about 100 milliliters of coconut milk. It would have been just a lot easier to just, a lot easier for you to just do that. But I mean, you followed the recipe. Listen, I was just going down. I was just going well, down the you. list and there was like, there's 75 ingredients in the damn thing. So. I made, I put the 75 ingredients. Guess what, guys? It doesn't get any better from here. This is actually when I chose this dish. Didn't realize it was like five different dishes. So here we go. Nasty Lamak. We'll see you in the kitchen in just a few short we'll, moments. We'll see you, all right. <laughs>
All right, chat. We are back. You should we be able to hear back. us. Check, check, one, two. Check, one, two. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome to our kitchen. Hello. Oh. You, want, you want that? Yes. There you go. Nasi Lamarck. Nasi Lamarck. All right, step one. Um, step one, eggs? Eggs. Four, please. Four. Oh. Um, probably. Don't whack me with the dishwasher, please. Here, One, two, three. <gasps> Four. Four egg. We should have more eggs. Four eggies. Four egg, more egg. Delicious eggies. Uh, we're going to be hard boiling these, so we're going to start in those first. There's a lot of steps to this whole thing. There's a lot of steps. Cutting board and the uh, wire rack, please. Cutting board, diggity, 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 wire rack. There you go. You are most welcome, my good sir. Four eggs going in Ninja Foodi. The best way to hard boil eggs. It absolutely is. It's so fast. And I'm gonna just hit it with a little bit of water. A little bit of water. A little bit of water. You gotta get the water. I gotta find my chat. Gotta find it. So pretty much everything goes into this dish but the kitchen sink. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, in a configuration that we are not uh, familiar with. So it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a journey. Let's go on this journey together. It will be something. All right, so now we're gonna hit the Ninja Foodi on pressure, low, six minutes, and begin. All right, that's started. All right, so. All right, I'm gonna wa wash this off real quick, get it out of the way. Sounds good. All right, now we need to do the symbol. Um, tubus Icambilis. Huh? What'd you say? Symbol. Tumus icon bilis. I don't know what those words mean. That's a thing. That's the words that people say. Okay, so for this... Chat. Hang on a sec. Watch all this stuff. This, <laughs> is, this is... Just, just hang on a second. There's a whole lot of stuff that we don't understand. Just waiting. Let me get a look at all that stuff. Raj, I'm not supposed to show your nutsack on stream. Oh, my nutsack. <laughs> Can't do anything but other than hold on. <laughs> Is that the anchovies? Oh, are you opening them? To be cooked or fried before use, we can't eat them raw. 100% headless dried anchovies. Meat. Mm, I guess they're uh, as advertised. Um. Anchovies. Full disclosure, guys. I found another one. Why is your timing really poor, buddy? Just really bad. <laughs> we just started the cooking stream. What do you need? Yeah. I found these today as well. So, like, we're our house is full of dried anchovies. Is what we're. We have a lot of dried anchovies. That's where, where we're going with this. Are these like room temperature things or? Well, I put them in the fridge because they were in the fridge in the store. Okay. Let's see what it says. Does it say anything? 
these definitely feel much says, drier. California says we're going to get keep frozen. Let's put those in the freezer. These are going in the freezer. And all the frozen dried anchovies. Hmm. Oh, and then I got this stuff I'm very curious about. <laughs> we are all very curious about that stuff. Okay. Um, do, would you like the, the scale, the food scale? Do I need it for this? Do you know how much how, 100 grams of dried anchovies are? How much is that? I don't know. This was 100 grams. <gasps> the whole packet? Yes. Make sure you take the free gum out. Yeah, I know. But this is <laughs> this is called Don Juan Double Hot Pepper, and it comes in like a no, tuna look, can. No, look, look and see what it is. It says it right here. Tuna with hot, double hot pepper sauce. Oh, it is tuna? It's actually tuna. Then we're not using that. It's actually, t oh, there's a, it's, it says it under there, I bet. And well, I bought the top. wrong thing. but Dude, that might be a future taste test, though. Ooh, this is, might this be a, is future, a goal hit. That might be a goal hit future taste test. Mm, I didn't realize it was tuna. Spicy tuna. Sorry. Spicy it's, tuna. It's mostly, uh, you know, it's mostly in Korean, so it was hard for me to figure it out. It's yeah, okay, though, because I got really this. really small letters. Okay, oh, my steps here. What are your steps? Is this just the ingredient list? Yes, but I need to fry the anchovies and I need to fry the uh, red red uh, onions. Um, Where are those? Right here. Okay. I need to fry the anchovies. I need to fry, hold on. I need to fry the anchovies. I need to fry the, the um, the onions. Let's say, all right, blend chili, shallots, garlic, shrimp, paste, and ginger with a splash of water into a paste set aside. All right, let's do that first. Let's just, okay. let's do it step by okay, step. Let's go step by step. It's going to be, we're going to, we're not going to get lost and we'll, we'll be better and off. And I do have some substitutions, so. Um, let me get. We'll get, we'll, we'll do this. We'll go, uh, we'll hit the camera over here for this prep portion of it. Okay. Chili, shallots, garlic, shrimp. Okay. How much chili, shallots, and garlic? Oh, three shallots. We can use the smallest one then, right? Probably. What, for this? No, hell no. The for blender? The... Is that yeah. what you mean? No, the tallest one, biggest one. There's two red, whole red peppers going in this. Okay. It does not appear that way. I know, I know. This is why I was like, just trust me on this stuff. I watched I, the I'm videos on it. I'm absolutely going to trust you. All right, so That's we why I said okay. Could, we could not find the. Um, I could not find chilies. So here's what we're going to be doing. It's supposed to be like a peppery, hot vibe. So what I did is I got crushed red pepper. Um, and we're going to be using a combination of that with just red peppers. I'm assuming this is this is hot. I didn't test that actually. Because here's the thing: red pepper could mean this, or it could mean like paprika, chilies, <laughs> or it could be like paprika. Paprika is red pepper. I learned that recently. Paprika is red pepper. I just want to double check to make sure that this is actually spicy. Taste test. Yes. Yeah, that's spicy. Okay. Okay, good. Good. It just took a, took a minute to like start to uh, heat up. It's a little slow on the uptake. Yeah, but that's fine. Okay. But, but we do want some heat to this as well. Sure. Okie dokie. And you got the big blender bit. Got the big blender bit. Can I have this, please? Yep. All right. So this is um, shallots. Shallots. Are where? Let's are was on the basket that was there. Okay. <sighs> mm. 
Here's your sack, shallot sack. Thank you. Shallot sack. Shallot sack. Two red onions sliced. That's for the grill. The three shallots go into this. This is what gets, gets me all fucked up. Because it's like backwards and frontwards and sideways and... There's slant ways and... Chilies, garlic, shrimp paste, and ginger with a splash. Can I get uh, ginger, please? Yep. Let me find you... Let me find you, ginger. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are these? Oh. And there's this very small, like, paring knife in the dishwasher. Dishwasher? In the dishwasher. I'm, I'm familiar with the, the little the little knife. And I'm just going to core the uh, red peppers. That's all I'm doing. This is for the sambal. And I'm making a mess doing it. Yup. Because why not? <laughs> I just, I'm just saying I just won't, don't want pepper plants growing out of our rug. That's all I'm saying. Maybe I do. <laughs> well, then we need to have a discussion about it. What? You're, 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 not, you're not down for the rug peppers? No, <laughs> well, I'm not down for the rug peppers, actually. That sounds fucking dirty as shit. <laughs> well, we were, Raj and I were uh, experiencing rug peppers this weekend. Which hit me well with a, a wash. Yeah, you bet. Oh, this is hot right now. Give it a sec. Okay. Wish us luck on this recipe, guys. I'm just going to do my best here. <laughs> this, this, is, is, this is out of our comfort zone for sure. Uh, magnitude's out of it. Orders and orders of magnitude. Magnitude's out of our comfort zone. You don't need luck. You need I... skill. It's true, actually. <laughs> We need, uh, you know what? You know what? It's going to be entertaining either way. Oh, yes. It will definitely be an entertaining thing that happens here. Shallots are so weird looking. They're weird looking, aren't they? Shallots are, they're just, uh. I do it like this. Do that. Do that. Do well, that. Those are just like normal red peppers, right? Yes, okay. they're not spicy. Just to, just to bulk up the sauce a little bit. It's to get, it, yeah, it's the pepper part. Yeah, because we don't have. Because you can't use this as the base. No. That's just the flavor. Um, it was one of the substitutions that was mentioned. I mean, yeah, we got to do what we got to do, right? There was, there's a lot of substitutions because literally the dishes, ingredients like aren't available in the United States, so. We don't have an H Mart nearby. I looked. The, the good the, the good big Asian markets they have. We still need to go the one across the river. I agree, but here's what I'm starting to notice. This particular one, the Malaysian specifically, mm -hmm. um, doesn't have... We can get Thai stuff. We mm -hmm. can get uh, Korean stuff. We can get Japanese stuff. But the Malaysian things are... I'd be curious to see if, if they had any of it. Yeah, I mean, they might, they might, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a very successful one-to-one, -one, so I did, it took a long time, honestly, because yeah. I was like, I mean, okay. there's a lot of ingredients. This recipe has a ton of ingredients. And a lot of weird ingredients, too. So I mean, We have dried anchovies in our house. Why the hell do we have dried anchovies? <laughs> we have a lot of dried anchovies in our house, too, which is the scary part. I hope you like them. I hope we do too. And then we have that anchovy like broth thing that you got. Yeah, I got some broth as well. It's, it's more like, like a it's, fish. Yeah, it's like anchovies and um, it's anchovies and seaweed, right? Yeah. And like tea bags, so you can make a broth out of it. Yep, yep, yep. We did not find shrimp paste, City Builder. Nope. Nowhere is there shrimp paste. That was a negatory. Negatory. But it also said it's optional, so I'm kind of like, okay. Shrimp paste. 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 Shrimp pa
shrimp paste. Feels good, man. Feels bad, man. But I didn't realize at first that shrimp paste was like fermented. No, I think it's fucking nasty. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't think it smells good at no. all. Well, fish sauce doesn't either. No, but I think this is even like more fermented in like a freaking. Uh, no, I, shrimp goes bad quickly too. So. I think it's gonna smell like horribly gone bad shrimp. Yeah, I don't. It's what the recipe calls for. I was even at the Korean store, and I was like, do you have a shrimp paste? And she's like, oh, no. <laughs> like, I don't even want to keep that in the store. It smells so bad. Ah, uh, well. We be sweeping. Not all of this is going to be clean. Oh, I just completely fucked that. All right, that's good enough. Um, and that's going to go into this guy here. So. A food processor slash blender. As we do. Caesar salad. We're going to have to, Strawberry. We're going to have to make some Caesar salad dressing, huh? Hey! Bless you. Thank you. Well, there's a cold front coming through. I don't know if that's something to do with the sneezes or not. Uh, this is more of, I just got a mm. little pepper uh, actual in the... Shrimp paste is kind of gross, but if you want to make a fresh one, fry up some whole shrimps and grind them whole shell and all. Shell and all. Is it is the point of shrimp paste? I want one. Can I have a red slice? Mm -hmm. This is a really nice looking slice. Thank you. Mm. I like them. These are better than green. I like them too. Yeah. All right. Um. Isn't the point of shrimp paste? Is is the point of it to have like a little seafood flavor or to have like that fermented strong seafood flavor? Great question. I don't know. Sorry, I stopped crunching. I'm coming down. <sighs> One point eight ounces of dried chilies cut into small pieces and remove the seeds. Put them in a bowl and leave soak for one hour. Rinse and but I will say this: when they put the chilies in, they filled up to like this mm -hmm. point of the thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like that, and then because we're trying to sort of replicate, I'm gonna just. Give it a pretty healthy dose of this. I, I would give it a healthy dose of that. Because it's about the spice. So. You know what, strawberry? Maybe that's maybe that's my. Does that have a seal? No, it okay. already took the seal off. Okay. I'm gonna give it like a pretty decent amount here. Raj, we could do that maybe. What? For, for next week, like a Caesar salad with actual homemade dressing with anchovies. Oh yeah, that's right. That's that a, does go into that, doesn't that's it? That's a way to use the anchovies. True. Great idea. That yeah. might be, that might be next week's, depending on the. Well, I think I want to use the some of the other seafood broths. All right, so that's a decent amount. I'm going to say that this is just snack food right now. Here All we right. Go. Mm -hmm. I know. I just don't want to crunch in my mic. I gotcha. It's a crunchy pepper. It's uh, semi crunchy. Okay. It is nice. I like these a lot better than green. Next up. Oh yeah, we gotta have some chicken on there. Chicken Caesar salad, sure. Oh, for sure. Chicken will be an add-on. It is something like a half inch of ginger, so we're gonna call it like that. Always measuring in inches. Well. You need the Adam Savage ruler. <laughs> or a little, uh. He can never lie about the size of his winky. <laughs> he has a ruler right on his arm. <laughs> You're fucking dying on that one. <laughs> Every time he goes fishing, he has to hold the fish against his arm. Let's see just where you where you measure up there, bud. If you want. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, I hate being an adult. Yeah. Why? Adults have responsibilities moments. and stuff. It has its moments. It does, it does. Yeah, All right, so that's, a, does, that's a, some ginger, and then we're going to do three shallots. And for this, I'm just going to hit it like that. Give it a little bit of this. Give that one a peel on the outside. Oh. These things are so fragrant, though. Shallots. Oh, sh shallot. I always hear Gordon Ramsay say it in my head. Shallot. shallot. A little chop on the side, chop on the side. 
a little bit of this action. Whoop. Get the peel oh, I going. The ginger. the ginger, I'm getting a lot of onions right now. Well, that's because you're over there chopping them. I'm just over here on the side sniffing. Oh, QB had a Philly cheesesteak for for dinner. Nice. Skinner Bees is jealous. Oh yeah. That's her favorite. It is very tasty. Okay, that's number two. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna hit it like that, and then just hit it like like it's that. Going, it's going in the yeah, it's going in the blendy, blender. right? Yep. Yeah, no need to chop it. All right. Woo! Woo! Wow! Okay, that is an onion smell. Very fragrant. Charlotte smell like onions. What? My Very. eyes were crying last week when I did that. Fragrance. Woo! You can get my fiber in. Here. Go ahead. Go Eat ahead. my peppers. Get your peppers. Mm -hmm. Could you do me a small favor? You bet. I need to have. What do you need to have? A bowl with ice and water, please. Welcome, Fallen Hunter. You got a gift sub. Congrats. Fallen Hunter. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nasi Malak. Uh, Nasi Lamak. Nasi Lamak. Nasi Lamak. You're the guy on this one. you got to remember the thing. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I watched the video, so that means I'm the head chef. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how our stream works. <laughs> Which one of you watched the video? You're the head chef. That's right. You all set? There we go. All right, so this well, is for the hard-boiled eggs. I will say, Fallen Hunter, I didn't get a new chat notification from you, so you said something in here before. All right. All right, so from the Ninja Fruity, check out this, guys. So what, hands in water, whatever this effect is called, I can't ever remember. The steamy one. Adds a layer of steam. We're putting our eggs directly into an ice water bath. We normally play, play Minecraft. Yeah. We do cooking streams. And it seems like it's been like every Friday. So let's keep on this tradition. I like it. Yep. Friday cooking streams. All right. Minecraft. And then because we're going to need this for rice in a, mm -hmm. in a bit, we're going to dump this out. That's just the ninja foodie pot, guys. And then I'll go ahead and hit that with a little just wipe out there. <laughs> wipe out. Danka. And that is uh, a great trick for hard boiled eggs, by the way. Ice water bath makes them super easy to peel later on. Okay. Do you need the liquid measure now? No. Okay. Do you? Yes. I'll start the rice. Okay. But I also need, I saw a thing where it says, if you're using jasmine rice, use this much. If you use, so if, if I could have the little sheet that says how to cook the rice. Uh, it's the same one that it. I have. L Soak balsami rice, wait 30 minutes, drain right before using. Place the rest of the ingredients in the pot and to bring to a boil. What? We're not going to cook it that way. I know. For jasmine rice, use two cup coconut milk to one cup water. And that's for, that's two to one, right? Two cup coconut milk, one cup water. And that's for a cup and a half of rice? Or two cups of rice? Or one coconut milk, two cup of water, two, two coconut cups of milk. I'm using the one for the jasmine. It literally says right there, the opposite. Or the opposite. Why? That's does it stupid. How much, does that say how much rice? No. <laughs> no. Actually, it doesn't. This one says two. All right, here. This is the main one. There you go. Okay. Two cups of rice. Okay. Three cups, then... one cup. 
but then the, the recipe says a two to one. Hence my problem. This is why I watch the videos. <laughs> this all is right. the this is the baking powder baking soda thing all over again. I know, I know, exactly. That's what that's my exactly my point. All right, so we got garlic cloves now for me, which is how much of this again? Four garlic cloves for this sambal. Two cups per person for leftovers. Hope you like it. I mean, it's something new, right? Oh, did you see that I did this, Raj? When I cleaned up the pantry last week or two weeks ago? Oh, no. Nice, though. So we have a big bag of rice. So I put this, uh, I put the rice in a little container to keep it in to make it a little easier to work with. It's all very exciting. Right, let me I'm going to do my cup. that right there. Okay. Ah! Well, I hope we like this dish because we have a lot of what the dish calls for doesn't come in that amount. Well, actually, technically, yes, it does exactly the amount. <laughs> if that was the only amount of uh... Burgers. What shit burgers? I have to rinse the rice. Yes, you do, you do. Do you need a thing? I'm gonna come around and get it. Okay. Cause yeah, you have busy hands right now. I do have. We got busy handsies, we got busy handsies. Well, you're just thinking dirty at this point, I th you know. Nice to meet you. I'm Hermie, I think dirty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, I think that's all the stuff that goes into this. All right, so. Uh. Peppers, peppers in, shallots in, garlic in, ginger in. Okay, blend chili, shallots, garlic, shrimp paste, don't have, and ginger with a splash of water into paste set aside. All right, so we'll do the one substitute, and I'm going to do very little. Just a tiny bit of fish, fish sauce. Because we couldn't find this, this, the paste. But this stuff, without an offset, man, I don't know. It'll have an offset, right? It'll be something. Okay. Um, I'm going to hijack this just for a second. Come with me, and we'll be in a world of blendy imagination. Let's go. Here it is. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Oh no, they're ready for that. <laughs> Sometimes they're ready for that. Oh, I did say a little bit of water. You want a little bit of water? You need it? The peppers are pretty watery. I'm checking real here. Yeah, I need a little bit. Okay, let me grab you some. Would 
symbol. Right. Does this? Does it say to filter the? Holy onion, the Batman! Holy shit! <laughs> wow! I shouldn't have sniffed into that. Oh! Don't, don't stick your face in that. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, that's the thing. All right. Oh! I'm here for your entertainment, everyone. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> Off to the stereo then. Trish and said that can't be undone. <laughs> nope. We're in it with the walk today, boys. Oh no, did we freeze? No, we didn't. Okay, we're good. Raj, we're gonna have to find something else to put coconut milk in. Why? That's very splashy. It's chunky. It is. Um, it wasn't in the video. That concerns me, though. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I the reason why is because I had just had to open a can for like just a little bit. So that's why. Want to check focus? It's coconut cream, isn't it? Probably. Focus look good, chat? We're good? Shake the crap out of it. I'll just stir it a lot. I already put it in the thing. I'm gonna be, I'm like cooking it with the rice, so I'm sure it'll all like, cause it's coconut fat, so it'll heat up and melt. It'll be fine. Okay, so this gets a little funky. So we're gonna be doing some frying. Oh shit, you know what I forgot? What? Cut up the onions. Hold oh, on. yep, you forgot to cut up the onions. I gotta cut up the onions, chat. The red onions. Oh, the wok. Hasika's excited. The wok oh, yeah, is man. Man. We, we, we use it a lot. It's actually usually on the stove. We use it all the time. All the time. Very. That's a very nice that's a very nice looking onion. I selected these myself. Good job. You like the look of my onion, baby? Yes. Yes, I do. 15 more minutes. What's happening, Tarmona? What's going on? As Uncle Roger said, want to clear the house of unwanted guests, cook some shrimp paste. <laughs> You're probably I right. I guarantee you. All right. I'm going to put the rice in. I'm going to cook it the normal amount that I cook. Hold on. Lemongrass paste needs to go in there. Oh, does it? In fact, the recipe calls for ginger, garlic, lemongrass paste, pan can leaves, blah, 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 like 17 different things. Where's the lemongrass paste? Fridge. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can find the lemongrass paste. This is the onion shot. Look at that. The Hermie complimented so nicely. Look at that. Beautiful. Good looking onion. Beautiful onion. Oh, here it is. Lemongrass paste ready to use. Putting in the rice. Fresh for weeks. Now it says <laughs> um, it, they put one piece of lemongrass in it. All right, so I'll put like like maybe half of that size of a squirt. Uh, I would say even less because they don't cut it. Okay. Yes, good, yeah, good, good thought. I would say like, like a squirt. How many onions do I need on this symbol? Two red onions sliced. I thought we needed three. Yeah. I got three. We have an extra onion, I guess. Well, those are never bad to have around. Where's my spoon? Oh, before thought. you can go home. Ah, not bad. Friday night? Hell yeah. Get the shift done. Get her out. Of, get out of there. That's what I'm saying. Let me stir this lemongrass paste in. I don't think you, no. What, what, I don't stir it? Nope, leave it right on the top. Okay, well it's kind of sinking in. Yeah. Cause it's paste and not a, not a lemongrass. All right, I'm gonna have to. 
Excuse your sauce for a minute? Yeah, you can excuse my sauce for a minute. Excuse your sauce. It's just chilling for a sec. I need to move Mr. Foodie out here so I can use him. Mr. Foodie. Isn't he the best? He's up there. I don't know, I like Mr. Walk too. Mr. Walk is good. I like our, our cooking our cooking friends. Mr. Walk and Mr. Foodie. Mr. Walk and Mr. Foodie. All right. Hey Chad, I don't know if you know this, but the onions are pretty goddamn fragrant. <laughs> I'm not going to get a good cut off of that, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is just like Shawshank. You choose pressure and time. <laughs> nice. My uh, eyes are burning over here. Yeah, it's a very a fragrant dish. Sure is. I've heard that Lamak means rich in Mali. Hmm. So. Is that the name of the language? Mali, yes. Huh. Now I know one more word, which is before it was zero, so there it is. Ooh, man, dude, there's some there's some onion fragrances going down over here. Holy moly. I'm not gonna worry about that. These are I think these are slightly larger than the <laughs> than, than, ignore. The, than the cook. They they look they look like big strong onions. They are very big, strong. Do you want a Do you want a bag to put the rest of them in, or? What? No, I'm gonna cook all these. You're gonna cook all those. Okay. I'm gonna grab a paper towel right here. Okay. Now here's gonna be the really awkward stuff. All right. So I need some of this for the 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 symbol on the anchovies, but not all of it goes in. Some of it goes on like the garnish. But now we're gonna fry anchovies peanuts, and a shit ton of onions. Peanuts. Fried peanuts. Fried peanuts. They're legumes, you know. What do you need? Uh, the slotted spoon that I like to fry with. Oh, no. This one? That uh, be the one. Okay. Seed look up for another fortress? Yeah, I don't blame you. That's a unfun thing to do. Hey guys, enjoy the pack and it's Minecraft. You play however you want. It's your world. It's your world. You cheat in creative. <laughs> then show my pictures on the internet. Look what I made in survival. <laughs> nice. Weird Allen all over the place. I love it. I'm Weird Allen. Oh my all... God. It's like a, you like uh, tear gas the room. Dude, it is. It's the oh recipe. My it's God. not my fault. I know. I'm it's not my fault. It's not though. my fault. I know it's not. But if I cry, that's why. Onions. These are dried anchovies. Are we frying those? We are frying It's going to smell like buttholes in here. <laughs> I told you when I, we did this recipe. Anybody want a little? Uh... Those have to be cooked, don't they? Hmm? Don't they have to be cooked? The anchovies? Yeah. The, the other one says you may, you must cook these. So I don't. This is the one that you must cook these. Okay. That one was the one that I didn't say that, but it probably doesn't correct. Probably, any. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like what you think it smells like. It smells. You know what it smells exactly like? What oh my god, I shouldn't even say I, I, this. I know what I think I know what you're gonna say. Pickled herring? Nope. What? It smells like fish food. Oh, it does smell like fish food. Oh it smells god. exactly <laughs> like fish food. It smells like it smells exactly like fish food. Oh my god. Like exactly like fish food. <laughs> well, we're making people fish food. Can cheat or never. I don't want to search for ever. Nice. <laughs> that one could probably go away. I think uh, it called the rest. Unless I messed it up, the rest to be called for. I'm going to put it with the other onions on the table for now. Shit, there's a can of fucking coconut milk in the fridge. Yes. I missed Sorry it. about uh, that. 
It's not your fault, I just... Yeah, yes, fish food is fish. Yeah. Why do fish stay so... <laughs> That's a Jerry Seinfeld joke. How do fish stay so slim? They eat fish! That's the one. So... Can you make chicken tikka masala with... Um, anchovies? Probably. No, no, <laughs> no. Stop it. Coconut milk. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if you if did you try it. Did you try even a little bit of this? It's not sweet at all. The milk? Yeah. I bet you could. Shit! What's the fucking? No, never mind. That's later on. I need to do this. Chad, first. anybody know? Has anybody done that? Can you make chicken tikka masala with um with coconut milk? I bet you can. Probably. Because it's still like, yeah, I bet you can. Because it's still like fat. Well, we have some coconut milk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I may have gotten a little too much, if I'm honest. Well, I mean, we can just find some recipes that use it. All right, chat. Here we go. Anchovies in. It definitely has a different smell than most things that we've had around the house. Except for the fish food. I'm, uh, I'm John and an onion smell over here. There's a lot of onion smell. We are frying anchovies well 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 how long do those cook uh just everything that you fry just until they're crispy and golden brown hmm. doesn't sound half fat we'll see we'll try one eat we'll each try one i don't think we're gonna eat all this so you got the rice going we still need to do the chicken mm -hmm. Um, and eggs are done. And then we'll just do cucumber the cucumber and then it's assembly. We'll do the tea after the chicken, I guess. Yes. Or, well, maybe, well, yeah, whenever. That is a smell, isn't it? It smells like frying fish food, guys. Like, that's the only, that's the only way I can describe it. I 100% agree. Don't worry, I have a whole nother bag of this shit. <laughs> Maybe it'll taste really good when it's all together. It might. I mean, there's a lot of onions. There's a lot of onions. Like, a lot, well, like onions, like a lot of onions. There's like shallots, onions. We have our sulfury veg down. That is a smell. It is one of the smells of all time. That's what Skinner Bees would say. <laughs> wow. There is no coconut milk. Can you substitute heavy cream, though? That was my question. I, I know the, the actual recipe calls for heavy cream, but I guarantee you there's people who don't eat dairy that have substituted coconut milk for it, though. I'm going to be perfectly blunt. I chose the dish, and I had no idea the amount of... I just wanted to try the national dish from a different country. Yeah. That's all it was. I had no well, idea. This is probably good for, for comfort zone cooking stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Because we've made a lot of... we made a lot of different stuff. There's just a lot of different steps to this particular yeah. dish. Yogurt. Uh, maybe. Yogurt. I'll find... I'm gonna find some some recipes with some oh my god they said it was headless <gasps> no what did you find an noggin <laughs> oh god it's looking at me <laughs> it's 
It's smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is pungent. <laughs> and we didn't even use the, sh the, the shrimp paste. We didn't even use the shrimp paste. That's all I'm saying. So, I don't know. Brown and crispy? They started brown and crispy. <laughs> I mean, they're dry, right? Yeah. Just take them off before they burn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're definitely being fried, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the shrimp paste would cut the anchovy. I don't know. Because I, don't I know. think shrimp paste is really, really. It's fermented shrimp, so. Every single video that I've seen make this dish, when they break that out, they're like, this is when our neighbors get mad at us. Because it smells like shit. Oh, God. Apparently. I wonder if it's as bad as durian. I, I don't. Well, I, it's it's probably like this, but fermented and like 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 rancid or smelling. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know what fish sauce smells okay. like. That is definitely, I can smell it. They're starting to get a little. Yeah, this smells getting a little better as they crisp up. It is, it is. I would just add to the smell. The snack that smells back. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They're like fresh fries, I guess. Yeah, they don't smell half bad now. No, they actually don't. We'll try one. See what we think of it. Let it cool down a little bit. We will. They're getting uh, they're getting drizzled. We're gonna go straight in with the onions. Things are gonna go fairly quickly here. Oh, rice is done. <laughs> no, it's not. Rice is no, it's not done. But the cooking the pressure, part is done. The pressure part's done. There we go, chat. And with you, I know. I don't want you to get splattered. Frying up some onions in this anchovy type sauce. <laughs> right. and then we do peanuts after this. Can't forget the peanuts. Can't, Can't forget, forget the peanuts. The pe don't forget the peanuts. Because this does not say, this doesn't say like, Fry the peanuts next. Yeah, no, it only shows in the video at the very end where they're like, peanuts. <laughs> By the way. This does not say, yeah. It's It says, fry the anchovies, fry the onions, um, and, uh, <laughs> and pour and, and do the sauce. Yeah. The peanuts are secondary garnish bit. Did you do the uh, lime juice or whatever for instead of tamarind? No, that goes into the very end with the sauce. Okay. But yes, I will need that. I d don't let me forget that one. Oh yeah, you're right. It's after it reduces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I that's why I was watching the video because that was smart. The instructions, unfortunately, are like these are all the ingredients blend, and it's yep. like not all the ingredients get blended though. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. Now that I put some onions with the anchovy oil, uh -huh. it's changing it. It's changing. There's some alchemy happening. Okay. Yeah, I can smell a little bit of a... Like a different vibe now. Yeah. Time to go home. All right, Tarmona. Tarmona, go home. We'll see you when you get there. Drive safe, though. Don't worry. There's a lot more cooking to do. All right, I'm trying one. Fried anchovy. Try one too. They are extremely actually. Okay.
actually surprisingly delicious. Oh my God, they're like chips. They're awesome. Mmm. I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting that either. It's very salty. Um, let's see, how would we describe the flavor? I might have overdone them. A little bit. It's okay. Um, they're going to go back in the sauce, though, so they'll, they'll soften up. Yeah, they will. Um, um, yeah, a little... A little bit of umami, salty. Um, yeah. Really unexpected, actually. Are they a snack in Japan? I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh, dude, I would definitely fire up some of the other ones. We could have movie night and have some fried anchovies. Movie night anchovies. and anchovies? <laughs> Woohoo! Or, uh, anchovies. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a sardines, the other one. I feel like the kids might not enjoy them, but who knows? They might. Well, I just got to get over the fact that it's a uh, fish. Just don't give them one that smiles back. This is, this is actually the snack that smiles back. All right. Raj's own symbol. Sam Sam <clears throat> Sambal. Sambal. Like Samba with an L. Symbols, but with A's. Okay. You seen them being snacked on in anime? Fried wow. anchovies. Are we gonna have some sweet powers now? Oh wow. Give you sweet powers. It's I'll probably good for your you know, like. I was gonna say. I bet you this is like a really healthy food, actually. Yeah, it's probably really good for your um. The fish oil ship, you know, the omega threes and shit. I would say, I think I overdid them just a little bit. Just a little bit. But. You have to watch a fish called Wanda when you're eating the anchovies? No, we don't. No. We'll just take a bag of them. We'll go to the Mario movie and take a bag along. <laughs> <laughs> take your fried anchovies. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> That'd be amazing, though. I love it. All right, now we're just going to do peanuts. This is not on, it's actually not in the symbol. Let me, let me try a raw, let me try a raw peanut. Hold on. Oh my God, he showed his nutsack on stream. Oh my God, guys, nutsack on Twitch. This is a regular raw peanut blanched, like no flavor. It is what you think it is. I don't know. Uh, there's a reason we roast these fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and salt them and put flavors oh. with them. Can we do something well, with this so I don't need it? They're this. legumes. Well, like I said, Raj, <laughs> we're gonna roast them or something. Bleh. Oh no. Sting up the theater with anchovies. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody else to leave. Right? No, a fish called Wanda. That's a that's a that's a sign of age. That's a really old movie from the eighties. Maybe I remember that really old movie called Empire Strikes Back. Where'd you find this kid? <laughs> God, I don't think I've ever tasted a peanut that tasted like a legume, and this one fucking absolutely does. Yes, it does. You taste like a bean. It, well, there's a reason why this was surprisingly hard to find. Because nobody wants to eat peanuts like this? <coughs> Correct. Correct, Amundo Brad. All right. That should be enough peanuts for one day. Well, now that they're fried, maybe not, but Jesus. These, uh, I'm putting them in a bag. Okay. And putting them on the ingredient shelf over here. Because God knows, nobody's gonna eat them clean. Okay, now we're gonna kick the heat off. Good idea. I don't know what do you think, chat. So far, we got anchovies, onions, peanuts. Rice is com coming up. I'm still very curious of how this all comes together. Like, 
Uh, now that we fried the anchovies and tried them though, I'm like, I feel a little bit more positive about the entire thing. Right. It's like a salty component, sort of. God, that would be really funny. Now I kind of want to do that. What's that? Bring some fucking fried anchovies to the movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> be amazing. Okay. So let's take a look at where my what my next what's my next. I think your next thing is to reduce the sauce. I don't think I use this oil, do I? No, 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 no. Do we do, need? Do you we do wanna... put it in the oil. What? We do put it in the oil. I wouldn't. It's gonna be oily as fuck. That's what they cook it um, in. They cook it in sunflower oil. What the entire sambal? Yes. I'm trusting you. That sounds crazy, though. Mm. It, says um, pour, it does say pour in the blended chili. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Should we get rid of some of the oil? You think? Yes, I, I, I do. I think, I think we should. Oh, hold on. I got, I got an idea. Honestly, I want to kind of, I don't like the, I, I don't like the remainder of this oil. I'll be honest. So or, you want to get rid of this and just pour in a little bit? Yes, but... Hold on. Oh. Big brain plays on the Herms. Something. Yeah, like on like on uh, the 4th of July when I was like, use this metal coffee can. Turns out they're all cardboard now. It's true. Yeah, you want this, you want, is that out? Um, do, you have an, do you have enough for, you might have enough for this. Yeah. That well, might be I, enough for this. Yeah, I think I have enough for the symbol. Okay. Now be just about the end of that. Oh, there's no way this could go wrong, right, chat? <laughs> I mean, how many things are we gonna pour that are gonna go right today? I never thought I'd say this, but give me one of them anchovies. I know. I actually want more. I know, I do too. I'm gonna try peanut. Give me one of them nuts. Where are them nuts at? Oh, these are excellent. Gosh, your nuts are well done. You're gonna love my nuts. I already do. All right, that's the thing. Right, octopus snacks, coconut smells, like visit, these are not normal smells coming out of the kitchen, but they're all working together. They are definitely working together. God. Want some more anchovies? Anybody anch anchovy? Yeah, I know. There you go. There's an anchovy. It's fried anchovy. It tastes like... What would you describe it as? I was trying to describe it earlier. It's a little bit like... Um... Hmm. God. It's like fish bacon. Oh, it reminds me of like salmon skin. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... Because yeah. it's like... It's like a little bit fishy and oily, but it still has that bacon, like, fried flavor. It's surprisingly delicious. Chock full of nuts. The stream is. Yeah. Mom's home. <laughs> Those peanuts are fucking amazing, by the way. I know, somehow. Damn, I'm, we're cooking this weekend. We're working fried anchovies and fucking peanuts. <laughs> yes. Fried anchovies and peanuts. Fucking peanuts. What's for, oh my God, like we didn't, we have like your family over or something or my family. What do you guys have for sex? Fried anchovies and peanuts. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, what the hell? We live in Pennsylvania. Where's my Pennsylvania Dutch stuff? Let, let me shout out to the walk, by the way. We just cooked in that. Look at that shit. Shout out to the fucking walk. Cast iron walk. That is fucking clean. I love it. I love How much did it say for um, oil in this? It did not. It says pour in the chili. <laughs> The chili mixture. So I would just put like a little bit in. Just enough to kind of coat it probably. I love the fish because they're so delicious. Gone anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I right, go into the, medium. The hinges are coming off, friends. And we still have to fry chicken. Make freaking rice. We got to do. The rice is done. Rice is done. 
We started the fry the chicken. We still got to make tea, and we got to assemble this whole thing, and we got to um, cut up a cucumber. You have to, to redo. Oh my God, a cucumber, Raj! You didn't tell me we should have started an hour earlier. What the cucumber? It'll be fun. Well, got a little oil down on the uh, on the burner. It's gonna smoke up a bit. Well, I turned the I turned the fan on, but I don't know how much that actually does. We'll be okay. I need uh, to put this somewhere that is. Mm. What a salty, delicious fucking snack, though. God damn. We had hinges. At one point, there had to be some point in the last, like, eight, nine, ten years that we had some hinges. But I tell you, I don't think we have any anymore. Yeah, it hasn't been a lot, yeah. All right, so this is where I'm going to be adding... Are these peanuts just garnished for two plates? No. Well, t they can be. But yes. I'm like, because I'm eating them. <laughs> but yes. What do you mean they can be? Some of it goes in the symbol sauce. Okay. Some, no, let me, let me, let me put it this, let me say this differently. This recipe doesn't call for it, but other people put it in the symbol sauce. Oh. Do we have the not slotted one of these? Um, this? Mm, it's fine. I can wash it off for you. I only use it to stir the rice with, so it's not bad. Do you need that blender thing anymore? No. I'm gonna, since the, shit, the dishwasher's clean. You know what? I'm gonna probably get some stuff out of it. It's not super full. This is Simbal. All right, this is actually gonna be the most lengthy po cooked portion, right? right yeah. Gone mm. into beef. Okay, so wait, after this, I eat peanuts. season with salt, sugar, and taramin juice at the end. Pour in blended chili and add a splash of water to loosen it up. No, they don't need to do that. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, volume with the peppers, so we probably don't need to. Yeah. Season with salt, sugar, and a good symbol needs to be sweet with the balance of sour and salty. Add in the fried anchovies and onion. Turn off the heat and mix well. Okay. So, uh... Well, I would say this. This is going to take a while. I don't know if you to want to reduce? do the chicken now. It might be a good time for doing Where? the fried chicken. I'll take the I'll take the these added things that are going to go back in. I'll take them away. Okay. I, the thing is that I went to use the large burner to fry. Well, we can we can stage it. It's fine. It's the the sauce doesn't need to be like hot for this. This is in fact well a lot of times reducing like a lower heat. So if we put, if we move the wok to the right front burner. Sure, I'm down with this. Okay. Uh, remember the video we saw at the beginning of the cooking stream chat, where we marinated the chicken and the stuff? It's now time for that. Are we, um... Simba, Samba, Sam, Samba. Simba. Samba. Samba. Nasi, Nasi Lamak, I got that part down. Yeah, it's a lot of words to remember. But each, there's literally, if you look at this, there's like several different components that we're cooking through this stuff. This is one of the most complex freaking things we've ever made. It is pretty complex. What needs to go on the chicken? Do you have to put like flour on it or anything? One egg and then it said rice flour. That's it. It's fried chicken though, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have rice flour? No, it could just okay. be whatever. Corn, corn starch maybe? Whatever. It's fried chicken. This one, I'm not, I think the marinade is the most important bit. Probably. Here, I'll move this over here. In my belly. <laughs> Into my belly. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna if you want to take it. over, that's fine. Um, not, I just need to do... I'm not taking over. I'm not buying it shoot. I'm not buying it a beer, dude. It's not taking your fucking turn. This might actually be fucking amazing. Well, I would think that the national dish of Malaysia would probably be pretty good. All right, I'm frying two chicken legs, right? Yeah, I wish it were one each. Yeah. Enough for now. Found a peanut. Yes, you did. 
gonna use my daily driver here. That is the daily driver. If you could just like. What do you need? Take the peanuts away from you so there's still some no. left? No. <laughs> do not take the peanuts away from me. But they are very good now that you yep. fried them. Um, peanuts and peanut oil, right? Um, just what the hell do we do with the chicken, I guess? We're going to do the same thing like this. Just put it no, on. No, no, no. I, I totally understand that. But like, are we taking it out and then putting like cornstarch on it or? We're frying it, so we put an egg. Why an egg? Like, it's already moist from the marinade. Uh, whatever. You know then. what I'm saying? Like, that's the part that I, I'm, like, a this little is, hung this up is, on. This is deep fried. This is deep fried chicken. This is not just, like, in a pan. This is deep fried. Okay. But we're not using the wok. Correct. This is why I asked about this earlier. If we wanted to do, like, it in a pot and a pan, because both are required for this entire dish. It's not just frying the chicken. Okay. It's already moist. That's why I said I'd say it again. So, I mean, you could do it in that, but you have to pretty much no, cover no, no. it in oil. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deep fry in that. We can't shallow fry. You can shallow fry. You got to turn it though. Well, yeah. But yeah, it would be oil, shallow fry. Shallow fry would probably manage to do it too. Like So like an inch in there, you think? Yeah, we could probably do that. Do you see what I mean though? Like, I don't know about the, I don't know about the egg with the moist, just the moistness of the chicken already. I got you. You understand? I go, I, I'm just going by what, I'll be honest with you though. This is one thing that zero variation happened. Every single one put the egg in. What do you mean the egg in? Like put the put the chicken in the egg? So you crack an egg, you mix it with the chicken right now, then put the flour on, okay. and they all did that. So they did so they did like an egg wash to make the batter stick. I mean we can do that. I don't mind doing it. It just doesn't it seems weird. That's one that there was no substitute for. I get that. I don't really want to substitute. We had to substitute a lot of stuff, though. It is just, all right, at this point, it is just fried chicken. However you want to fry the chicken, but it is deep fried traditionally in this one, I guess. Well. Besides sauciness, what is in this dish? I, mm. Rice. The dish, Nasi Lamak, is coconut rice um oh that's the actual that's the dish that's the dish the, the star is the coconut rice but it is served with the sambal which is what um, we're we're reducing right now um cucumber hard-boiled egg peanuts sambal sauce and fried chicken peanuts if we have any left if we have any left i know i kept eating the peanuts All right. Well, remove these, take these peanuts from off my heart and take the onions from off my door. <clears throat> we are staging. Is this, is this out? What out? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. We add a room. I'm gonna turn the heat on. This is a smaller burner, so I'm gonna turn the heat on up just a little bit. Oh. I did not turn that oil on yet, because I want to get the. Can you get me the chicken? Chicken. All Please. right. And an egg, I guess. Been marinating for quite some time now, ladies and gentlemen. And this stuff that you saw in the beginning of the video. There they are. Marination of the chicken. Marination. Every spice in our uh, cabinet. Every single one. The 
don't well, know if you want to move the camera for this or not. Um, no, because you're going to be frying it. That's going to be the... I am going to be frying it. And you're only doing two, right? Yeah, I'm only doing two. Okay. Flour, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be like corn syrup. Well, hell freaking yeah, the national dish of Malaysia. It's our first time making it, and we do not know what to expect, so wish us luck. <laughs> we are, we are, uh... Doing our best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's marinated chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's marinated chicken. Marinated in, chicken. Oh, um, gotta find the cornstarch. Essentially every freaking spice we had in our cabinet. I'm not even joking. There's like Literally. 20. KFC's got nothing on this marinade. <laughs> 11 herbs and spices. That's rookie amateurs. numbers. Amateurs. A right, bunch of fucking amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> Double check that that's cornstarch. That says coconut flour. That is not cornstarch. See, that's why I said double check that. Wish I hadn't moved. Okay. That's coconut flour. Let's try to find the cornstarch now, shall we? Okay. And so now we're slowly simmering down our, our symbol, sambal, sambal. Sambal. And we are, have already fried our anchovies, peanuts, and the onions ready to go. And this has got garlic, shallot. The only thing we couldn't really source was the shrimp paste. But I'm also kind of maybe okay with that a little hey, bit. Hey, Raj. Oh, you know what we could use? What's up? A little bit of this. You want to tempura fry it? Oh, no. Well, I don't know that we have any cornstarch. I thought we had cornstarch, but I'm not seeing any. I'm adding a pinch of salt to the sambal. And I think we need to do sugar I as well. We had cornstarch, and now I don't see any cornstarch. I could have sworn we did not run out of that. Is there any um, check? Check the cupboards above you with the spices and stuff. All right. I know what it looks like, and I'm not seeing it. What does it look like? It's a small box. It's probably in the bag, second shelf right there, left. Yeah, you. I thought so too. I probably put it in the bag. Still. I'm not seeing it. Probably just some of that flour, to be honest. Huh? Some of that flour. Oh, I could have sworn we had this. I thought we had this too. I thought we just used it. Yeah, we did not use all of it either. I know. Are you sure you didn't see it up there? No. Mm. Don't worry about the egg, it will stick. Kind of true, actually. I, unless there's some sort of weird alchemy that happens, you know? Let me see. Mm. Right, I'll check here too, just in case we're both being blind in their that own is, ways. That is, you know, not impossible. See, this is, this is where things go to disappear is that for me is the barbecue shelf. The barbecue shelf? Yeah. I didn't get, like, it's not under there with the rest of the barbecue stuff, is it? Under here? Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think you were blind. I'm not seeing it either. How the hell did we lose the cornstarch? Because I swear to God, I was like, I used it last week. I know. We just had it. And I did not use all of it. I remember putting no. it back over here. I get it. The ants probably carried it off. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They're like, cornstarch? That would go great with whatever the hell ants eat. What is this? Green lentils. What do we have a bag of green lentils for? Lentil stew? What do you use with green lentils Oh my for? god, we have so much of that rice paper still, too. Dude, we have so much rice paper. We gotta figure something out to do with that. Well, you can fry that up for a freaking snack, Gold too. metal oat flour? It's not cornstarch. Corn meal? No, that's big. I know, I know, I know. That's big hunks. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got it! 
You went, you did? Yep. I knew we had some. Jeez. I thought we did too. <laughs> Great. Well, that's what, it. that's what I get for like messing up the pantry. No, I, f I like clean the pantry so everything's moved. That's the problem. All right, so are we, do you think we should egg or not? I don't know. I say it's moist enough and we probably don't need to. I mean, I could, we could pat it dry, but I think it will stick. Pat it dry. All right, well, I'm, I'm starting to heat up the oil. Sounds good to me. It's a little scary cooking in that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I understand. All right, I'm adding a little bit of sugar. Pure sugar to the... Have you tasted that at all? Not yet. Okay. I don't know if that's reduced enough yet, is it? I don't know. I, I think, I'll, I'll know, I'll know. I know what it's yeah, supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah. And you also, you can probably tell to taste too. And then we have to add in lemon juice. Lemon or lime, right, for tamarind? Yeah, for the tamarind. Which, of course, we don't have. I'm going to give that a little taste test, though. If you don't. I don't mind. That is not. Don't mind. It's like a sugar bowl spoon. I don't want that. All right. It's a soup spoon. This is the base of the sambal. What the? Is a, that is a really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put the spices in, didn't you? Oh no, that's scary. If Raj thinks it's spicy. <laughs> Holy shit. If Raj thinks it's <clears throat> spicy, now I'm really scared. <sighs> Holy shit, that is gonna be, that will melt your fucking face off. Oh no, Raj. I think it's supposed to be. Mine. <sighs> wow. Well, it will get cut with the, there's a lot of things that go into it. Sambal's supposed to be spicy though, yeah? <laughs> Jeez! It's supposed to, but if you think it's spicy, like Well, it's... I was, no, to be fair, to be fair. I knew it was supposed to be a little bit kicking, right? Yeah. I know what we put into it. Yeah. And, but when I look at it, I think spaghetti sauce. No, I know. Don't okay, think so, spaghetti sauce, so it's not. So I don't think spaghetti sauce. So, is it reduced enough though? Um. Like, tr taste it. When you tasted it, did it taste like it was reduced enough? Yeah, I think so. We're almost ready to start putting this damn thing together. Right, you put, the, you put all those ingredients back in then, right? Yes, except for the peanuts. Those go in my belly directly. <laughs> Raj made napalm. It's I pretty think he spicy. Did. I think he did. To be fair, it's not usually runny. A okay, little, well, little bit more than you. Yeah. It needs to be reduced more. All right, let me taste that. I'm scared, but I'm going to taste it because. You will be. No, I don't see spaghetti sauce. Like, I know, I know what's in there. <laughs> There ain't no tomatoes in there. Nope, it's all peppers. That is kicking. Yeah, <laughs> that is kicking. Okay, that's not as scary as you originally made it sound. And My brain um, wasn't expecting it. That's I understand. All. Yeah, I think it's still a little liquidy. Yep, yep, I think we could reduce it a bit. Still a little bit more. All right, I'll leave it at the temperature it's at, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, this is a cooking challenge for us, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the national dish of Malaysia. And those who um, like had it or have it frequently, it's a very, very highly requested dish. So I was a little skeptical with all the ingredients that we had to put in this, um, especially anchovies. Yeah, that was a thing that we were that we haven't really cooked with before. And uh, full disclosure, we actually over purchased because we weren't sure we were going to be able to source them locally. But I was able to, so we ordered some on Amazon. So we have extra uh, dried anchovies now too. Now, Raj, let me ask you. 
Yes. We're gonna make this tea as well. Yeah. Do you want hot tea or iced tea? I kind of want iced tea with this. Okay. I'm feeling like because an iced it, that, tea. That was, that was an option. Yeah. So. This sauce is already like the, the shallots, like the, it, it's already very like oniony. Mm -hmm. So I'll be like, it's just gonna be like a very oniony sauce. Once you put all those like freaking onions. Mm -hmm. You don't need this anymore, right? No, I didn't need it at all because we found the cornstarch. Yeah. I still can't believe that's actually tuna. <laughs> that is gonna be an unlock for next week, Chad. <laughs> The, you know, the opening of this, the hot pepper tuna. All right, so I picked this up today. I thought it was just peppers, but because we're going to use this today. But this is, to be fair, where it says tuna, there's a big, there's sticker. A big sticker on yeah. it. But that's going to be something that we unlock next week, like yeah, midweek. To, to taste that, yeah. To taste that stuff. It, it looks funky, dude. It's like double hot pepper tuna is what it says. All right, how do we? How long do we fry chicken eggs on each er, eggs? How do we fry chicken eggs? Chicken legs. How long do we fry them on each side? Uh, I think it's like six, but okay. you know, golden brown. Uh, cooked all the yeah, way through, well, golden brown. It's fried. Do well, you want this thing to tell me how long you do it for? Because this, this recipe does not have the chicken on it. I know. I'm not asking really from the recipe. I'm asking for like a shallow fry perspective because this is not a way that I cook. Well, I do have the recipe for the uh, I am go goreng. I am goreng. I am goreng. I am the walrus. Um, garnish. Heat oil to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees. Pour into a wide, heavy base pot to a depth of 2.5 inches. We're Heat over medium fry. heat to da, 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 maintain temp as best you can. This recipe will not work well with an air fryer. No shit. <laughs> fry. Carefully place three pieces of chicken and do not touch for two minutes. Do not touch Don't it! touch it. Don't even look at it. To let the crust adhere, oil temperature should be 300 increase if needed. Uh, fry eight minutes. Fry for eight minutes. Wings for five minutes. Or until a deep golden brown and the internal temperature is 167 degrees Fahrenheit or 165. Can you give me the temp? Yeah. Or the th thermometer, if you can make it through there. Does that give you all the information that you require? I think so. I might just go temperatures. Yeah, temps is a good way to do it too. We can put that in too. 350, right? Not yet, <laughs> is what I'm seeing from that. It's not an instant read, so it takes just a second. Sure. <sighs> Woo! This is... An intense cooking stream. Yeah, I would say this is our most challenging one yet. What do you guys think? Is this our most challenging cooking stream yet, chat? Here, you want to put these back in the fridge? Yep. We do not forget we should do these this weekend. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We have extra chicken for the record, chat. Extra chicken, yeah. And we're not, we're just not cooked. I think, when did you marinate? Eight or something? Yep, I marinated at eight. You're feeling challenged by us. <laughs> Is that true? Want to try some sambal? Eh, again, I just wanted to be like national dish of a, a country I've never had. Let's give her a go. Well, I mean, there's only so many stir fries we can make. We've got to challenge ourselves. I'm down. I don't know if I should do this yet, but I'm thinking about cracking the two hard-boiled eggs. I don't think it matters. You really think it matters, Eddie? Yeah. After I get the chicken in, you can cut up the cucumber. Yep. Mm. 
-hmm. You're tired? Tarmona. But you're done with work. I'll miss there with the oil. My anus finally unclenched. Thank one, God. One wide path to the fortress. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's always fun. Oh, a 10-hour shift? Yeah. That will get you. Ugh. So now we're just reducing our sauce. Hermie's going to be frying up the chicken. I'm peeling the egg. We need to do the cucumber. And then once the sauce reduces, then we're going to combine that with our anchovies and onions. Right? onions. And then it's dish assembly. And then the final thing is just the tea that got unlocked yesterday. Oh, Holy the tea. Holy shit. This is like for real, for real. Like we have so much to this. The water, the water's on for the tea. Water is on for the tea. Why did I bring the sugar out here? Raj, I don't know why you brought the sugar out there. Cause I'm an idiot. Not an know. idiot. Well, maybe I need. Well, we might need to to to, to taste maybe. That's probably where we could use an actual person that's had this before. You're heading out in your RV for its first trip out. Dude. RV, the RV. You're going to go out and touch some grass? Hell yeah. <laughs> Who's touching grass? Well, with the hope for. I mean, you still have to drive on the road at, with an RV. So there's like, are that's you an 18-wheeler an trucker? Well, I'm not. But you are now. Right. <laughs> You're driving an RV. It should be fun though, like once you get there to have all the amenities and all that shit, yeah. The tenement on wheels, no, nope, no. Nope. My buddy of mine, he took my house, I took the RV. <laughs> you towed it home, so, yeah. Oh, almost there with the oil. 335. I don't want to put it in early. I told you we put it in too early. We're going to go with the National Amco. Because, uh. No, I get you. You don't want it to not get greasy. Get you, don't the... want to, you don't want it to get greasy. Right. You want it to create that crust right, right. off the bat. Exactly. Insta crust. Insta fucking crust, bro. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I don't think this is more than we could chew, but this is about the threshold. <laughs> well, if we if we have anything more complicated than this, we're gonna have to not play games at the beginning, you know? Yeah. All right, we've hit three fifty. I'm gonna. I guess technically not though, because I'm just a hair. I did for the Cubanos. I made bread. And... Oh, that's true. God, but that, those were so good. But that was uh, over the course of days. All right, so. What's our temperature for chicken? 165, 165? internal. Okay. Well, of course internal. All external, right. it could be hotter. Here it goes. Here we go. Ooh. I must drop that. I saw it. You got it, Herms, you got it. Woohoo! Looking good. Chicken! Chicken! I want to put a little, like, uh... Where's the splatter guard? Oh man, I fucking hate that thing though. I know you hate that thing, but guess what? It's gonna save your fucking camera lens. I'm trying to save the camera lens. I mean, yeah. We did not egg. No egg. We decided. We did not egg. Hermie decided it was, no egg. It was moist enough with the uh, marinade that the the cornstarch stuck very well to it. If I'm outside touching grass, I'm probably touching said grass with metal blades. <laughs> yeah, I did that this week too. The first mow of the year. I'll probably run the ball grabber tomorrow. I've been trying to like do a little bit each week. You know, until the end of the year when all the balls drop again and we get to do it again next year. Nothing like facing your own mortality with. Why is. Why, camera, why are you being a fucking douchebag? It's afraid. It's hot over there. No, 
Well, I'll fix this motherfucker. Oh. Hey, kitty. There we go. This is probably nearly reduced enough. It's pretty thick. She thick. All right. Is it time for, uh, let's see. Let me get my tasting spoon. You get your tasting spoon. Can you put some, what, lemon juice and salt or whatever? Probably use a little salt, yeah. No. No? Anchovies. Anchovies. Yeah, okay. That's, um, hmm. Actually, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so then Good. we need lemon juice and the stuff. All right, here we go. You all ready for this? Oh, shit, you ready for that. All right, I decided we're doing all anchovies into the thing, I think. All anchovies? No, no, maybe just a couple. Yeah, I, w I would say maybe half of that. No, no, no. Quarter? No, like 90%. Okay, that's fine, I don't care. All of them except this one. <laughs> we have a little bit for garnish. Previously fried anchovies, chat. And nope, one nope. for Hermie. More. And one for Hermie. And one, and, one for, to, and one for and one for Hermie and one for Hermie. I keep trying to take his anchovies. Thank you. Mm. I hate that thing because I can't look at the chicken while I'm cooking. I fucking hate that. I understand that. I totally get that. But I'm also trying to save your camera lens. I know. I know. I know. Is it that splattery? It's pretty splattery. I'm turning it. All right, onions in. The marinade is green, in case anybody didn't see it, so that's why that chicken looks a little green. Uh, yes. It does look nice and crusty, though. The rest of the trash of the night went on the floor, so. <laughs> we made a mess. All right, then we turn the heat off. And then we're just going to mix this together well, and I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of lemon juice. Yep, that looks right. Anybody um, have this dish before or from Malaysia by any chance? How does that look for a sambal sauce? Yeah, help us out. Oh shit, we're getting raided. Are we? Who's rating us? The live feed. Hi from the live feed podcast. Welcome in, everybody. Well, hello, live feed podcasters. Awesome. Today we're tackling a very difficult dish known as nasi lemak, national dish of Malaysia. First time. Yes, we are. We're dual uh, broadcasters over here on Twitch. Raj and Hermie will show our faces when it's time to eat. We will. And there we go. That is our sambal complete. Awesome. And oh, amazing. Where did I put the tea? So now we just have to do the tea, fried chicken complete, and then too, too rice low. and... And a sub on top of it? Who sub? Whoa, thank you guys so much. And hello, everybody. Welcome into the stream. I hope you guys had a fantastic... What was your stream like? How was your stream? What were you working on? You used to work. Wait, Taz, that's you? Oh, it's Taz. Taz. Taz, what's up, dude? I used to eat this when I worked in Malaysia. Malaysian food, yeah. Like, let us know. <laughs> we don't have faces. I'll be honest, I've never had it. We've never had it or made it before, and Raj was just like, "Let's do this." I just wanted to try a national like, dish right. of a. No, it's great. Of a country, let's try this real quick. So can we can you, get like an can overhead you tempt view. Can the chicken? Well, if you had it before, how does this look for the symbol? The sam sambal. We got the fried anchovies, the rice, all the peppers. It's very spicy, nice and sweet. I don't know. I've never had it before. There is quite a few substitutes. That is true. Um, yeah. It looks perfect, honestly. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No Amazing. way. Amazing. 
And then we have our coconut, or yeah, our coconut milk rice. We have our peanuts, our egg. Of course, our fried anchovies. And we are going to do cucumbers. And as a bonus today, we are having ourselves a little bit of, what's the tea called? Uh, te Tariq. Te I think tariq. that's how, I, I, it might not be said correctly. Did you tempt the chicken? No. Did you? Sorry, I yelled that from in there. You probably didn't hear me. No, I did not. Hmm. The answer, my friend, is not even close in the end. No, the dude. answer, it is still cold in the middle. Yeah, it's 90 degree chicken. That All right, me. well, we're going to just let it that in there until it cooks, aren't we? I have a feeling that the cooks are shit. But, oh well. What? The our, Locally here, where we get, like, especially chicken legs for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, well. There's, like... There's a little bit of meat and then 700 tendons. Yeah. Chicken quality is not great. Did you have a little, uh, the grab? Oh, yeah, you did. Yes, I did. You bet your buns. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I, I poured the, the tea, so it's, uh, steeping right now. So, do you remember what the marinade is called for the <coughs> the chicken? It's something goreng. Um, like yes, the, it's the recipe. I'll, I'll get it out here. Siam goreng or something like that. I'm probably butchering the hell out of this. It's called the chicken itself, Malaysian fried chicken. I, I am go goreng. I am goreng. I am goreng. Am I saying that right? And it took every spice we had in our house for the marinade. <laughs> Legit. Five layers of skin, at least that would make a nice crispy fried chicken. Well, Raj, the tea is at full boiling temp right now, so we'll do our best to get it cold. Okay. Don't worry, we got a minute on this stuff anyway. Alright. Oh. Well, we definitely have to, like, have that be a, a fancy thing when we do the the tea. And Lost is Sniper, it? by the way, is the resub. Oh, thanks Lost Sniper! Shiny button number 34, thank you! Look how we can use these. Oh, I like that. Another use for the fancy... A.M. Goreng for the spelling questionnaire. Um, A-Y-A-M G-O-R-E-N-G A.M. You guys see that? A.M. Goreng. Now, um, here, this recipe is four pages for fried chicken. It's a four-page recipe. These are the only ingredients just in the marinade. What is crazy? Awesome, Sean. Can't do dad jokes while we're in the kitchen. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're in here and it's in there. I could try, but we're not going to be able to hear it, so just for your enjoyment. Ziggy, tell me a joke. How do you contact an amoeba? By cellular phone. Was it a good joke? We can't hear it. <laughs> 122 internal temp. Getting there. Yeah, no, no, no undercooked chicken. No undercooked chicken. We don't no, it was chicken. not. Eh, it's par for the course. Where's the mac and cheese at? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, and uh, you know, listen, I, and for, just as to, you know, add a little bit of extra stuff for the kiddos. <laughs> Tarmona, we got you. Got you covered. There you go. Little Easy Mac, yeah? <laughs> I'm actually glad that somebody had this dish before from Malaysia and said it looks good because honestly, yeah, we I, have have no, <laughs> I have no idea. I have no frame of reference. Idea. 
This is going to be extremely crispy. I'm all right with that. How do you contact an uh, amoeba? Amoeba. A, amoeba. A cell phone. Oh God. Yeah, it's bad. Oh God, that's Real rough. Bad. <laughs> Real bad. As a biologist, you love that scarlet air. Oh, all right then. Great. So how was the stream? Uh, was it Taz's stream or was it the podcast? What were you guys doing? Uh, for those who are over here coming from the podcast, did, were you guys doing the podcast tonight? Just uh, what did, what did chatting you, up some food? What were you guys what'd doing? What you pod about? Oh, I disgustingly love sweetened condensed milk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I'm a slut for it. Do we want to do, do it now? Let's check the chicken temp. Okay. Cucumber? Can... Yeah, I got the cucumber. Yeah, it's probably time for cucumber. All right. Don't be crispy fried. I'm trying not to hit the bone. Damn, son. 148, getting closer. There will be a small amount of carryover, but not much. I'd, I'd still want it to be, say, 165, to be honest. Oh, God, I know. Yeah. Okay. We're about, like, 150. So you're chopping up the cucumber. I can do the tea. I'm about ready to do the tea. Okay. And you want it iced, right? Yeah, I, I feel like this is a spicy dish. Well, a little refreshing. I assume we're going to turn the cam whenever we do the tea. Yeah. So. Do you want me whenever, to do that now? I'm, 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 ask, I'm asking you. How do you want to do it? Well, the tea is a, is a, is a show. I know. That's what I'm saying. Five. Six. Seven. Because I heard this dish has a superstition value with the number eight. Really? I did. That's interesting. Huh. Good evening. What are we cooking? And we what's are, up, Electro Yeti? We are cooking Nasi Malak. Malak. Wait. Is that right? No, my brain just. Kick her. <laughs> Nasi Lamak. Just the, the national dish of Malaysia. Correct. All right, I will turn this for the tea making. For There's this, no way this could go wrong. We gotta spill the tea. We are it's, gonna spill the tea. What is the English version of that? No, there is none. This is that's the name of the dish. It's coconut rice with like a sambal sauce, which is chilies and anchovies and onions. And a whole lot of other stuff. That you can and really hard to buy in central Pennsylvania. Yep. And I am Gorong fried chicken. Fried chicken. That's that. That's close enough for that. So this well, is fried that, chicken. Right, but then there's also like the special marinade we had to put on it. Yeah, the marinade is a big portion of this. It's a big deal. It's a big fucking deal. Camera coming. Okay. All right. Where where, where are you doing this? Hold on, let me put the ice cube tray back in. I just got water in my sleeve, which is the least comfortable thing in the fucking world. Harvey loves water in her sleeve. Um, I can do it right here in front of the sink, if that, does that work for you? Works for me. Does that work for everybody else in chat? They don't get to pick. <laughs> Say when. Are we ready? We're ready. Alrighty. I put two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk, which looks kind of gross, but is delicious. We put it in the in our frothy milk jug from the cappuccino. Like the salmon of Capistrano. <laughs> no, Raj. Mm -hmm. 
delicious. Did you just eat that? No. Uh... <laughs> All right. I need my. I need my like. This can't go wrong. This can't go wrong. I'm gonna have my hamburger helper glove with this hot tea jar. How's it, how's this gonna go? It's gonna go great. Is the answer. Uh, this goes in there, like that, and it mixes all of that. And we decided on hot tea, so or iced tea, huh? Because I can remember things. So we're gonna pour this into this. Right? Fancy. Okay. Then you pour this back in- Oh no. Oh no. Okay. What? Ah! We're gonna do this! <laughs> Over the sink. Over the sink. Oh god. Okay, so then you pour this like higher. <laughs> like no, I did that good! <laughs> oh god. god. Fucking nailed it! Okay. <laughs> How many you spill the tea? <laughs> I think you pull this really. I think I picked wrong cups for this. <laughs> look! Look! I did it! <laughs> Yay! There it is. You're supposed to keep pouring it like higher and higher until you get super like foamy. And there's fucking tea, tea everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. There's tea everywhere. Do you want to try this? You made it first. Okay, sip it. okay. Sip, sip the tea. Sip the tea. No! How are you supposed to, there's like all kinds of, the milk is in the bottom of the jug still. Bro! It's not, it's not milky enough. <laughs> I really want to make I this well. Up. What, the, uh... You want to make the tea? <laughs> the tea or the, uh, the Nasi, Nasi, oh my god, I had it. The Nasi Lamak. Nasi right? Lamak. We'll do, it, we'll do it a couple more times for fun. Okay. Whee! I can do it. <laughs> I can do it from this into that. I can't do it from that into this because this this is a stupid poor cup. So I, I chose a bad cup, I think. But I can do this. Whee! They did the same thing in the movie Cocktail. Oh well, I based everything I do off of Tom Cruise, so. Thank God. So in this movie, Tom Cruise is the bartender. Pretty gosh darn good one too. And Jilly has a question of conscience. Then he needs a woman to get him back on his feet. In this movie, he's a Top Gun pilot. Pretty gosh darn good one too. Then he has a question of conscience and needs a woman to get him back on his feet. Let's taste. Here we are. Now that I've spilled most of it out into the sink and the surrounding areas, let's taste. This is you becoming- Messy tea. Hear me spill it's the a, tea. It's the messiest tea that I've ever seen. It's delicious. But it's like hot, it's like hot, you know. Oh, it's not hot. It's like mid. It's, it's mid? <laughs> I meant temperature wise, it's mid. Well, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it's, I like it's that. black tea with like sugar and milk. I mean, you can't go wrong. How's yeah. our chicken? Chicken. Chicken, chicken? All right, I'll make. Fucking well, no. burnt. Raj, I'll make you one now. 165, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're pull good, it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Get it, get it, get it. I'm gonna finish making the tea. We'll try to, we'll try to marry them up a little bit better together this time. We'll make sure they're married and they like each other. I can see the squirrels when they were married. Coming behind you when this needs to- Hot behind? Fuck. That's why I hate this fucking thing. I know, thing. I totally get it. Just. Put it in there. Everything's dirty. That wasn't, but now it is. It's gonna be dirtier because I'm gonna spill tea on it. Let's all be honest. All right. I'll be honest, the chicken doesn't look great. That's all right. We fried the, the anchovy, the fried anchovies are surprisingly delicious. All right. I'm gonna pour a little bit in there and try to dissolve the milk. Oh, it'll be fine. It's a little, it's a little crunchy, but it's it, hmm. Does it smell good? It smells different. Well, I mean, it marinated for twenty-four hours in a very different marinade, so I guess differently different. 
Ow! <laughs> Fried the anchovy. Well, the this good thing is, is there's, there's, uh, there's VODs for it, so if you want to <laughs> check out the VOD. It all went perfectly, no derp. Especially the tea part. There's no derp. No derp at all. Hermie, I think we got all the stuff! Oh my god! Let me finish the last, this last cup of tea. So we each have a tea. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Let's see how we go. Here are... Some of the garnish fried anchovies, if that's what you wanted to see. They're delicious. We're gonna turn this one off for now. Uh, oh! The ice, the ice, dude, the ice. I guess you add the ice in at the end if you make this. Mm. <laughs> all of it. Ah? Uh? Better. Good. <laughs> they did this, this, I went to a Moroccan restaurant when I was in high school for a world cultures class. And they did that with like jasmine tea and they poured it up really high. Going, oh, the leaf? Yeah, right. I'm gonna, we're getting banana leaves here. Yeah. Screw pine leaves. Yeah. Screw pine. Cheers. Cheers. It's a fucking delicious cup of tea. It is a good, it is a good cup of tea. I did put ice in it, but you know. It's not hot. It's like. Lukewarm. Like a tauntaun. Like the inside of a tauntaun. All right. Is it a time to disassemble? It's time for disassemble. Uh, Cause our brains have disassembled long ago today. I think I'm gonna do this for the amount of rice. I'm gonna make it all cute in a little. Yeah, this, little is a, this is this is a national it's dish a of Malaysia. I gotta get treated with some respect. <laughs> Put some respect on the, all right, the so you, dish we mispronounced for three hours. <laughs> I started good. I know you did. Nasi malak. Uh, nasi Lam malak. Lamak. Lamak. Nasi lamak. Nasi lamak. I have to repeat things a lot for myself. Nasi lamak. We used red bells and then we used like spicy chili flakes. Correct. So they are spicy. It is a spicy sauce. The sambal is spicy. All right, we're coming over here. I'm going to try okay. to put all this together in a nice. You just ignore all the bullshit. Well, that's there's still a lot out. of bullshit. Now. There's a lot of bullshit out. Okay, so Ow. per plate. And again, we're going to gonna get Jesus our tra the traditional leaf here. But we have our double. Our eight cucumbers. I do. See if I can move anything out of the way for you. Eek, gross. Eek. What? <laughs> like, it's gross. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's not. Just stir it up. Hit fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You might want a cup or something, or a spoon or something. Yeah, there's like, there's straight- There's chunks of- Coconut. Coconut in it. Okay. Now let's assemble <laughs> the dish. How does it look on focus here? Let's see. Let's see. Probably want to go a little farther this way. Now let's hit this up right like so. Pop it there. Hit that. If you want right. to give me any of the random crap to get out of the way, I'll do my best. Um, I will. Is as soon as we okay. get this going. Mecca, you're right. It doesn't have anything else. It's black tea uh, with sweetened condensed milk poured from a distance to make it extra frothy. And now there's tea all over the kitchen. <laughs> Basically, it's tea as messy as possible. <laughs> all right, here it's is. It's really delicious, though. Is the plan? I'm going to start with our sambal sauce. That's what it was. I caught. I was talking about sambal most, and I forgot the dasi lemak. Taking a small portion of the sambal and putting it in the bottom of our cup here. And then I'm going to take some of the rice and we're going to pack it into the cup. This is a cacophony of smells. There's a lot of smells going on. All right. I brought you peanuts. Thank you. Those are just like garnish stuff. I know. All right, here we go. Making it look pretty.
Very nice. Okay, number one down. Eight cucumbers, can you slice one of the eggs? I can obtain one of the eggs. <laughs> what are you bringing me? Peanuts. Oh, peanuts? Yeah, I brought you peanuts. Peanuts on the dish. Um, One piece I'm, of fried chicken. I'm out of slicing room. Here. Do you want it just in slices? Yeah, just in half. Uh, you want it cut in half? Half. Not in slices? Yeah. Okay. I'll cut them both in half. Some fried anchovies. And one more small scoop of the symbol right there. And final touch is a hard boiled egg there. And Look there. at that. Look at that. Let's get the hero shot. Stuff out of the way. That is Raj and Hermes version of Nasi Lamak. Nasi Lamak. Nasi Lamak from scratch. I say, do you want me to make you a plate too? It's like a full meal. It is like a full meal. We could split this. Um, we can split this for now, yeah. Um, saving this stuff might be a problem. I but know. We're, we'll worry about that after the stream. Okay. There it is, everybody. Raj and Hermes, like Nasi wanna, I feel like we want a bite of everything all together. Maybe not the fried chicken because you eat the fried chicken. You know chicken. what? You know, how about this? That's the presentation plate, but for fried chicken, it doesn't feel like you split it. So, yeah. Here. All right. I'll There's take a fried line. chicken. All right. Awesome. Um, there it is. But keep the peanuts. There's a lot of peanut. Oh. The peanuts are so good. All right, let's get a... Hold on. You're doing the hero shot first? That did, it did take some time. That took some time. Oh my God. There it is, chat. Okay, I am extraordinarily curious now. As to how all this fits together? Precisely. I am too. I'm gonna back up the cam here so we have a nice little shot of Raj and Hearns. My, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm I a think mess. our kitchen just, is a mess. Yeah, everything is a mess. So we're just gonna bring in the hose tomorrow and just, shh, just kidding. We can bring in the hose tonight but if I you want. To. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you mean hose or hose? Where the hoe at? Yeah, I'm a, there was there were some frantic moments of tonight, I think. Nearly. Frantic was, moments? Yeah, almost. Okay. I don't even know how we do this. I don't know how to do this either. I'm gonna start with taking a bite of the fried chicken. Okay. Okay. Fried chicken. Berry. Oh. Uh. Oh very different flavor. It really is. It's good. Mm. Mm hmm. Doesn't taste like any fried chicken I've ever had in my life. Mm hmm. A very different spice profile, but it's good. Okay. I'm hitting up. I'm like, I'm trying to eat more to like get the flavor, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. I'm hitting up a little bit. We should probably do this together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to do that together. Some of the rice, sambal, all the other stuff together. The rice and sambal. And I don't know, is this one of those that you like, just shovel the whole plate in or what? I don't know. Do you eat the cucumbers with it? I don't know. Is it like part of the refreshing side of it or what? I don't know. Shit. I'm losing my samba. Oh no. We all are. We're all losing, losing our samba. Well, the presentation has lost a bit. All crew is dying. I'm getting a peanut. I'm getting a peanut on mine. Peanut? Yeah. Peanut. Oh, get on there, sauce. 
This is why they don't get. Let me judge. Uh, it's Hell's Kitchen or whatever. There is. Here we go. Now see my luck. All right. Three, two, one. Bye, There's a lot going on here. That is not a flavor combination I was expecting at all. Mm mm. Mm. It's good. It's good. It's really good. It is really good. It's just like, this is. It's totally different to my American palate. I have no comparison to this. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Um, let's see. I well, have nothing. It tastes like what it looks like it would taste like. like mm, I don't think the, so. Put this stuff together. The spicy, fishy. But not that fishy. That's the other thing. It's like not that fishy. And it's not that fishy, but I mean, you have some anchovies. But now we have the cucumber. Okay, let's let's get a cucumber going with this. Mm, egg. Uh, you come, the cucumber is kind of refreshing with it. So we get the rice. We get the, the sambal. A little bit of anchovy, a little bit of peanut. Pull this stuff together. Category unlocked. Kind of right. I know. It's it's crazy. Um Do we put the egg with it? Or mm. is the egg like Let's just go for it. Well, I know what a hard boiled egg tastes like by itself, you know what I mean? Do we need some of this some more sauce or something? No, there's plenty. You want to put more on? Yeah. Want some more sauce. It's like okay. crunchy, fishy. <laughs> we did have our brain processing. Like just the the it's just a totally different it's just a totally different group of flavors. All through it. It's so different. Mm-hmm. But my goodness, is that good? There's just there's so much flavor going on. Mm-hmm. Mm. I bet that sambal with the tamarind, though. I bet that tamarind just adds that perfect little like sweet tart punch to it. Like even the chicken tastes different. Yeah. It, no, it, everything is. Mm. Totally I would say, it. if you would take. Mm, Start with an, the Indian profile, Indian taste profile, okay? Like, with the chicken, and you start dialing it up lighter, fishier, but heartier flavor-wise. Does that make sense? Like, you start with like the like an Indian dish profile of like a Tikka masala or something. If the if the the chicken the chicken is the Indian ish. Mm -mm. Like the rest of it is not. No. Damn. And somehow, like chicken, coconut rice, anchovies, onions, spice. Right. It cucumber. All just, that all weirdly works together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did you eat your egg with anything? I still had food in my mouth when I put the egg in. Okay. So I had like a little bit of... I'm going to try it. I'm going to put some sambal on my egg. That's probably not bad. Sambal on the egg? Sambal on the egg. Is sambal's going on the egg? Hmm. I kinda Gosh. Want, I kind of want more of that sambal. That shit is so good. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? I'm like, I could take some for lunch. I'm oh, like, oh God, no, I should not do that. Should not heat this up in the work. In the work microwave. Bro, the, I have no idea how good this stuff is going to reheat or not reheat. I have no idea. Rice would probably be fine. Bro. There's like a, there's a the thing. The egg made it like sweet. What is that? I know, man. It's like. Like it made the egg sweet. Like what is going on? <laughs> I don't understand any of this food. It's good though. There's some insane alchemy happening here. GG Malaysia. Mm hmm. I just took a shower and sweet tea for the stream. I hope you guys all like it. 
Well, I would definitely say I have no notes. This is I'm, amazing. But I also have no we are, comparison. We're quite broken. But I'm blown away. I'm blown. I, yeah. I have no notes because I don't even know what to what I'm eating right now. Like, are we... Comp it, this is a good dish. Um, is it good for... By the Malaysian standards? Right. Did we do a good job? We don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. That cucumber works with this in the weirdest way. Like, it... Exactly. It's almost, I, it's almost like how it works with sushi. That's a really answer. good way to put it. This is like um, if you would take yes. a deconstructed sushi thing and put it like it went a touch of India. Yeah, almost. Yeah, but the, the, that's how the cucumber works with the rest of it. The cucumber like it does with sushi. That's a good way to put it. But it definitely is not a sushi flavor, though. Like, no, but it's, the cucumber like... I Mix it like ma reminds me of it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit that. Oh up. yeah 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 do that. I'm gonna hit the rice, the cucumber, and the sambal, and the sambal all together. You know, for all the the fact that this is named after the coconut rice, I feel like that's the least remarkable part. I'm gonna get more I agree, of it. Actually. Well, I didn't. I honestly didn't. I'm surprised that you picked this because I didn't think you would like that. Or it's not sweet though. No. That's why, no, all right, hear me out. I know that on this channel, I've been pretty emphatic about do not. <laughs> don't fruit the meat. Don't fruit my meat. And I am emphatic about don't fruit the meat. That does not mean sweet and savory don't go together, but it's not fruit savory that's for me. That's not fruits, no, that's not. I feel like the rice I feel like the rice isn't living up to the hype. Like, this is named, this dish is called rich rice. To be fair, the rice would be called for 17 more ingredients in it. Well, maybe we should have put them all in there. Maybe. The coconut's not even that pronounced. Mm -mm. But there's things we couldn't, like pandal leaves. That's what we're missing. The fucking screw pine leaf was the key lemongrass. to all of this. They wanted there to put lemon, ginger. There is lemongrass in it. That's the only one we did, though. Maybe we should have put, put the ginger and garlic in. Maybe. I guess it's the only note, then. Mm. Avocado. No, thank you. Mm. Raj and I are not avocado people, although they are a good source of fiber. Avocado? Um, um I like avocado... In sushi or maybe on sushi. Yeah, I, I with mean, if it, it comes with a sushi, I'll eat it, but... I'm not a big fan of, like, guacamole. I like uh, guacamole. Um, I don't like it by itself. Skinner bees just eat She them. will eat it like ice cream. She just eats them. It's gross. <laughs> I don't like the texture, I think. You too, Raja? Yeah, okay. Real lemongrass? No, I can... I 100% I believe that, but I could not... I went to the five stores. Five. I'm still broken. I don't know what I'm eating, but it's good. Ooh. No, I want to, like, be Andrew Zimmern and go all around the world and eat weird shit. Let's go. It's hard for me to describe this, right? So It is. We're both, <laughs> so this. I don't know what I'm eating. So. Looks like. You're like, oh, it's oh, fried, fried chicken. chicken. We've had fried chicken. We know what fried chicken tastes like. And yes, it's chicken. But the 75 herbs and spices that went into the marinade make a very... It's like not quite Indian food, but not quite Korean. It doesn't, take, it doesn't taste like what we would think of as like Chinese food or like you said, like Korean. It doesn't taste... It's almost exact. like it's geographically, purposely, exactly how this thing flows together. <laughs> you get a little bit of like British in there. You get a little bit of like... Chinese. Everybody a little gets bit. a little British whether they want it or not. <laughs> oh, this is very important to our culture. Can we have it back? We're not done looking at it yet. <laughs> I did ironically use some Yorkshire tea to make the tea, mm. so that's a thing. It's, like, it's a really good fusion of, of the stuff. Like, oh my god. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still broken. I don't know what I'm eating. It's fucking good, though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get my whole life. I would recommend everybody try this at least once in your life. Um, cooking it, I was gonna say, very maybe, effortful. Maybe go to a Malaysian restaurant if you have such a thing near you. Order it on a menu and then have them bring it to you. Or 
if you have a Malaysian friend that invites you over for dinner, say yes. <laughs> mm. It's good though. Honestly, these drumsticks are not as bad as I was expecting either. They're pretty. They're, they're not. As, they're not as bad as the other ones. Mm -hmm. They could be better. But mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? I know. My mind is also blown. I know. Well, we're good at cooking things. Even if it's not like perfect to the original like dish, it's pretty good. It tastes good to me. I would say, par for the course. You're always gonna have like, even between restaurants, because some um, sure. a little different here, a little different there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Sambal is a spicy little bitch, though. So. That's why we're sniffling. I know. No, I'm not. Like, Sambal is a spicy. It, I did not shy away from the pepper in that one. I did not expect that you would, Rush. But. I did not expect that you would. All right, I'm saving my plate. Because I'm going to eat more after stream. Oh, no doubt. Oh, there's plenty of sambal. But so plenty far, I have 4,000 things to clean up. So, well, let's go. I did it all preemptively. He did. He oh, did. I did oh, yeah, a no, lot. It's, it's a... I would say it's not an equitable division. Raj did most... He did all the running. He did all the cooking, all the prep. He filmed the prep. Like, you did... Like there's a, like that's why I clean up because like you did all the other shit. Hundred percent worth though, guys. Would definitely try this. This is so unbelievably good in ways that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, yeah. My mind is absolutely blown away with like, I'm I'm tantalizing with like, my body's like I've never had like right. this before. This but, is but <laughs> these flavors don't seem to go together, but they do. They're like, wait a minute, how should that work with that? Mm -hmm. It feels like it's making new neural pathways yes, or something, right? That's exactly what it's like. Oh, oh that flavor goes with, oh. Oh, now oh. I forgot who won Bud Bowl 16. Damn it. <laughs> I learned about Malaysian food and I forgot about Bud Bowl. <laughs> well, I hope you guys did enjoy our cooking stream tonight. We did go quite if, overtime. Yeah, I know. I know we're overtime. If... <laughs> If nothing else, you got to see me take a shower in uh, <laughs> fucking sweet tea. So. Sweet, sweet <laughs> <Yes>. tea. <laughs> right. Sweet tea shower. This is certainly not a clean, um, a clean cook. <laughs> no, every I like for the kitchen or us. Yeah. There's also stuff everywhere. Consider buying plain peanuts and cooking them yourself. They're really good. Mm, um, I think part of that was that you had it in anchovy and onions oil. I don't care. They're good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to love my nuts. I'm going to love my nuts. <laughs> are, this, are these my nuts or your nuts? They're our nuts. <laughs> because we are nuts. On that note. On that note. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you on Monday. What he said. And this is the awkward time where I press the ending button. And we then it goes to, to the ending. And then we have to walk back. But they back can still to... hear us while right. we walk back and hit the mute button. Because you have button. to walk back and mute it. Don't trip. I'm not. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Good night, stream. <laughs>